Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time you're getting it all in Broken Sword 5, The Soypen's Kois. This was developed and published by Revolution Software, and it's usually available for $19.99, but from now until the March 1st, 2022, it is free with Games With Gold. If, if of course you're watching this after that date and haven't got it, then ignore that last part. <laughs> LOL! So if you're not familiar with these games, we play as George Stobart, an American detective and a sassy French journo called Nico Collard. In this, we have to uncover mysteries about our theft painting, couple of murders, and ask ourselves, why do some of the characters look like the way they do? I will just get that that point in a bit though. Now, achievements-wise, it is a very easy game, but some can be easily missed. We basically have to find a hidden goat, collect six joeys, they're basically a robot in a window, plus have to do some extra stuff and quote specific dialogue now and again to get a few more. A lot are story-related though, so that should be all good. Timestamps will be below in the comment section, as per usual. So you could be looking at around six to eight hours to get this done. The video though is only four hours long because I skipped more or less the entirety of the dialogue and there's a lot of it in this game. So hopefully I've paced the skip in enough that you can keep up without having to pause it a lot. If you do then I'm sorry but please still love me. I'm not needy at all honestly. Yeah. So with that depressing little secret out, <laughs> let us begin shall we? So apparently the serpent was wiser than all the animals that were in paradise. Uh, the testimony of truth. Yeah, probably, but I want to see the testimony of lies. Battle not with monsters, lest ye become a monster, and if you gaze into the abyss, well, you're just going to have to go and take a piss. Th th that is the gospel of lies. So anyway, you will come up to a cutscene. Again, just press the A button there a couple of times to skip the cutscene, and we'll get into this part straight away. So, to move, you have to press the cursor um, to the left, to the right, wherever you want Georgie Boy to go. And the first thing you're doing, have a look at the stolen painting on the left-hand side wall. And it's pretty obviously that it's looking good, but we're alre already going to come up to an achievement as well. So, um, <clears throat> there is a lot of obvious dialogue in this so open the door press the a button there to open the door by the way the x button to examine will only be using a couple of times through the game so the majority will be pressing the a button to get around have a look at the cut wire and then after georgie boy stops talking again oh thank you very much i like being inside of things uh, wait uh, interact with that same cut wire again and we are going to get the achievement called oh my god oh my god it's a mirage it's a sabotage. That's the uh, Beastie Boys legendary song there. Oh my god, it's a sabotage. Right, speak to the priest, who is obviously looking at the dead body, because priests have a massive fascination with A, young boys, and B, dead bodies. I, I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. So I'm just joking, of course, any priest watching. <laughs> probably not, though. <laughs> if, the, if any priests are watching my video, they're probably not watching. So again, like I said, there is obviously a ton of dialogue in this game. Um, and uh, yeah, the story is extremely interesting, so by all means, um, just keep um, having a look and seeing what all the characters have got to say, etc. But again, for the purpose of the um, playthrough and the achievement guide, we're just going to slam through the dialogue. So, have a look at the pizza box, interact with the pizza box on the table next to where Father Simeone has just sat down. Um, one, uh, pick up the pizza, put it in your pocket for some reason, that's gonna leave a stain, but there we go. And we can just leave the pizza box and have a look at Henri's body. Take a look at the French little frog and his little body. Right, um, he has a little bottle of perfume, a little, little bit of man spray, because of course all art hipsters carry a bottle of man spray, apparently. Have a look at the crumpled note under his hand as well. And then after this bit, we can now, as soon as we do get past this bit, we can press the B button to get out of there. Imagine being dead and he didn't even put his glasses on tidy. Like, at least make it look a bit interesting, like he's sleeping or something, not... You know, oh, I'm dead, so that means my glasses are crumpled. Right, you don't need to keep interacting with the crumpled notes. That's what I was doing for some reason. You can press the B button to back out and then go to the left of the screen. And interact with the door. So like I said, dialogue, we're just going to smash through. Um, there's not even many specific dialogue options that we have to choose either. So that's all good. Right, speak to Big Chungus Malungus on the floor here. I don't know what, what the hell that's supposed to be, but he is a big boy. It was Hector Lane. For a moment, 
He says Hector Lane kind of looks like uh, Harvey Weinstein to me. Um, <laughs> and we'll, well, you know, we'll see why. Anyway, interact with his jacket, bottom left jacket, and pick up the nail clippers. Not a, not a lot of bulge going on there. More bulge in his belly than his pants. Uh, pick up the nail clippers, press the Y button to go into your inventory, and then use the Always Dead spray, which is probably a bit weird, but there we go. Uh, but stick it on Harvey Weinstein Lane right there. And he is finally, somehow, like a turtle on his back trying to get up. <laughs> he finally emerges from the land of the dead. So, sorry, forgot to mention, so to use anything in your inventory, we have to press the Y button. And if you want to drag it somewhere, click the A button on it and then just drag it out with the left stick. That is how you do that. So, Y button, go to the pizza slice, drag it out and give it to Harvey Lane right here. Harvey Lanestein. And again, smash through the dialogue. We're just going to be doing that a lot because, you know, there's a lot of interesting stuff, but there's a lot of just yammering on about absolutely nothing, which might look good in a film or on a TV series, but not in a game we want to get the whole achievements on. So speak to Lane again after he's um, eaten the thief slash dead man slash crusty, hairy, moldy pizza. Um, we're going to start just going through a couple of bits of the dialogue. Now, usually if you're questioning someone or talking to someone, it'll normally be on the top row. So we're going to ask him about Henri. And then after you smash through that, um, we're just going to ask him the next one. But again, you don't have to ask every single thing. About, the ones I'm going to be showing you are the ones that we can just get the information that we need and to get the um, dialogue finished quick as. So you can ask him about the theft or the lock, but we're just going to ask him about the keypad straight away because we don't really need to know about the other two. He doesn't have a clue because he was flat out dreaming about pizza, which is pretty much all of us, actually. So I'll give that to Harvey Lainstein right there. So speak to him once again, which does get a bit annoying. Sometimes it does can get quite annoying having to speak and yammer and yammer and yammer. Other times, though, there's some funny stuff that happens. Right, so interact with the cut wire right there. Cut wire dialogue. So, like I said, anytime you're asking a question, it'll normally be on the top row. The things on the bottom row are normally a bit, a, a lot of nothing. So, interact with the nail clippers, though, this time. Obviously, that's a bit later on. So, anyway. Next, let's get uh, Hector Lainstein's movements. That'll be the next dialogue option. Where were you when you were trying to bang all those women who just wanted to progress their careers in the movie industry? Where were you, you dirty, filthy bastard? Anyway, so track the movements, and then, like I said, you can skip. Uh, you can uh, exhaust all the dialogue if you really want to, but sometimes it's just not worth it. Um, so, again, you can speak to him. He's, he's literally not going to give it to us, so we can actually stop. Um, so from here, you again, you can have a look and ask him about the Le, La Medella Gigio, whatever the hell, I'm sorry, it's, it's a British pronunciation. But we're just going to exit the conversation, and you can also exit the conversation by pressing the B button. So let's exit out of the door, <clears throat> and here's the first Joey, remember I said the robot in the window? Immediately put your cursor to the left, and just into the next window right there, keep tapping the A button until he says... What he says, uh, he'll, he'll only normally say one dialogue option, so just keep tapping him until he says the one dialogue option there. But we have to um, interact with him at six different points during the game to get the achievement. So you won't get the achievement now, so stop trying, damn it. Anyway, go to Le Tricolore. And now we shall go to the left and speak to the waiter. I am appalled. You have no snail juice for me to try. Mountain Dew, crab juice, or snail juice? Right, so again, a lot of dialogue. We're going to keep pressing the A button to smash and smash and smash. He is one miserable bastard. Right, uh, ask about Henri. Which, is this every French cafe owner? Or do French cafe owners actually like serving people? Or are they just as miserable as this guy? Right, now ask about Harvey Lainstein. Hector Lane. Last night, what sort of after if you the check with 
And that's all we can, that's all we need out of this miserable French bastard. Now we can exit the conversation. Am I really good at French, by the way? I, I think I am, to be honest. Right, so the waiter's name is Waiter, which is very original. So just keep on going to the left and we're going back into Le Lézard Bleu. I'm not this in France. I would actually really love to go to France one day, but there we go. Uh, that's for another story. So speak to Lane, Mr. Hector Lanestein. And now ask him about Lane's drinks bill, which is on the bottom row. What of it? It's your... So... It's... Day you... You... But you told me that... Tell you what... A motive... You... Just do a... So he is going to give us the... Um, code! And we can just go in... And... Oh, look at that little bust. You got... One bust of two busts. And a nice female there. Um... Unfortunately, we are going to get stopped by um, the typical, I'd say, the typical French snooty, you know, massive 12 inch dong nose um, inspector. The bumbling ones that don't do anything and they're not really good at the jobs. But uh, And of course, we've got Mo Sizzlack there in the background as well. Uh, <laughs> sadly, this guy's a bit annoying, but it is funny, especially to see a nose like that not get broken from the wind. Just. just Bloody huge. So now we're going to start playing as Nico Callard, a beautiful and sassy French journo who luckily doesn't work for anything like the Sun newspaper. And sorry I said the Sun newspaper, I meant to call him the Scum newspaper. Only Brits will get that. Right, when we're here, again, have a look at the robot in the left hand side window in the Les Tricolaires. And as soon as he says that, help me Nico Card, which is quite funny, that will be two out of six Joeys, and now we can spoke, speak to Mo Sizlac, the French Mo Sizlac. Ah, ah, Madame Cola. I was in the gallery. I... Uh, nobody. And... It is... Right, when the dialogue option comes up, ask him about, um, Concord Nose Nave. Ah. A genius. Madame, he is about to solve so blood. I really need that. That he is not to be disturbed. He is applied. Now, as it turns out, uh, French Moses Lack has been up all night shooting rats. So ask him about his tiredness now. Why are you so? <sighs> oh, you. If you. That's very thoughtful of you. Ha! A cunning attempt to make a gendarme. Well. Ah. My dog. Now ask him about the incident. The incident. Mm -hmm. Well, when I was younger, me and my cousin touched. We, 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 no, we didn't. I am on duty. Right, now we can just press the B button or select the exit conversation. Conversational. And now we're going to go to the left. Again, remember to click on the Joey bit, the robot in the window there, if you haven't already. But now you should, of course, be on two out of six. So, speak to El Waiter, Wal Walter the Waiter. And again, more conversation with the miserable. Les, les miserables. Because I look at you. The, uh, the pretty women who shop. Uh, that. And the men. Latte. I see you. Is this what we fought on the... Isn't it? No, madame. Vive la revolution. And... What few... Uh, cheap one and free sex? No, madame. So that... Yes, madame. And you. This is... Ha! <laughs> I love how the British uh, butcher say it foreign sayings just because the majority of us are... Not good with it. Right, press the Y button, go into your inventory, press the A button to get out your press card, drag it over to Walter, the Waiter, and now he's going to change his tune, and all of a sudden he's going to get a little spring in his pants and a spring in his step. La liberté! Oh, yeah, ma, uh, ma, mademoiselle, uh, the baby. French, right? I know not. You. Monsieur. Could we have a little chat? 
And now, since he's actually happy to serve someone, ask for le coffee. Which I bet French coffee is blemis, right? I bet it is gorgeous. Uh, well, I tell you what, you can tell this must have been done years ago, because people had ethics, and if they wanted to serve someone, they could. If they didn't want to, they couldn't. Now, every company is so profit greedy that they would throw you under the bus just for the tenor in your pocket. But hey, that's just greedy as small knobbed companies these days, isn't it? It's what we got to get used to. So, you're going to enjoy the coffee, but we're going to ask him for another one. So, the takeaway coffee this time, ask him for. And he's going to go, Oh, bleu, le bleu, le bleu. Again, my French is completely on point. I know, I know, it's very impressive. I know. Thank you, Walter. Right, Monsieur, let's get our buns out of there. So, we can just exit the conversation now. Again, just press the B button because it's slightly easier. It literally saves 0.2 seconds. Um, <clears throat> again, make sure to get the Joey on the, the robot window if you haven't yet. And now we can speak to French Mu and give him the takeaway coffee from your inventory. And for some, and by the way, this guy pisses like an absolute racehorse. You know when you're on a night out and you sort of break the seal after a couple of pints? Yeah, this guy's like it from the, it, listening to wee sounds, drinking a bit of coffee. Man, he really is not impressive as a man. But uh, there we go. So eventually he's going to start um, holding his nutsack and he's going to go off to the right. And that is our way into Le Lézard Bleu. Well, and... I was busted to sergeant, just after the President's divorce came through. You are a victim of a great injustice, sergeant. You think so? But of course... Well, the President's dog. Ah. And by... She... She is... Oh dear, it has gone. Could you? Oh, you. Two things there. The one, the whole dialogue option was just not needed. Here's your takeaway coffee. Well, thanks, Nico. Oh, I need a wee. Right, let's go. It was literally two minutes of yammering about crap. And then he does about a minute and a half of dancing. But anyway, he's out of the way now. We're inside. <laughs> And here he is, old Jimmy Durant, Schnozola. That will also get us the next achievement there for sending French Mo to the bathroom. Um, so again, a little bit of conversation here. By the way, the uh, Jimmy Durant is a very, very old and very dead um, old American comic who had one of the biggest nose of all, noses of all time, and they nicknamed he's nicknamed Schnozola. So that's what we're going to stick with uh, Navant right here, the <laughs> bumbling detective. Right, but we are going to speak to Schnozola Neve. Inspector. Navant Neve, it's all the same thing, isn't it? Um, I, I realised I got that one wrong. Right, ask him about the CCTV. So again, all the top options you can ask about, but it adds nothing, and it's just a bit of a waste of time. So that's why we're going straight, straight for the jugular. Now, ask him about, um, oh, in fact, no, we're just going to exit the conversation this time. We don't need anything else, so thanks, Inspector Schnozola. We will let you do it. And the bloodier, the better. Inspector. So you don't actually need to speak to him again. I've done, I've done this accidentally there. Um, but this is very Jacques Cousteau, Pink Panther-esque, <laughs> um, bumbling detective. Well, at least Jacques Clouseau gets it right, and isn't this moronic? And I'll tell you why. Because we go into the back, we're going to pick up the pizza box there from the back, on the floor, right next to Father Simeon. Probably thinking about young boys again. Um, and then interact and investigate the tomato stain again by pressing the A button. And then what we need to do, somehow again, a nice bit of crusty tomato sauce has hit the floor. Press your Y button, get out your press card, and then interact that with the chewing gum. Funnily enough, um, it doesn't work with the tomato sauce, so again, get your press card out and interact it with the chewing gum. 
So, and, and this is what I mean, Jacques Cousteau style. Everyone else in the world would know that is a tomato stain. Interact with the tomato stain, by the way, to spread it out. But for some reason, old Schnozola right here um, thinks that it is a blood stain. So, it just, it's, it's funny, and <laughs> it can't be beat. I mean, it can be beat if you had a good detective, but there we go. Right, so in, again, interact with uh, Schnozola and Ave. <clears throat> yes? Yes? And then have, and then obviously interact with the um, blood, st <laughs> blood, quote unquote, blood stain. Indeed, I must investigate. Hmm, interest. Okay, Georges, that should distract him from. Nice work, Nico. Top work there by the French journalist. Doing a lot better than us, as George, actually, a minute. So, first thing to do, we're going to interact and get the hidden goat achievement straight away. It's basically on the top shelf where our blonde bombshell Johnny Bravo chin detective is standing. Again, yeah, just smash through everything on the phone. Again, we don't need to, sm uh, we don't need to really listen. Normally I go through all this and then just um, wonder who the murderer is at the end. And then that's it, that's all you really need to know. Right. So, there we go. So, where George is standing at the top is the hidden goat. Interact with that a couple of times. And that will get us the hidden goat achievement. But again, some of these achievements, by the way, may take literally like... 10 to 30 to even up to a minute sometimes to unlock. So if it hasn't unlocked yet, just keep waiting and it should unlock eventually. Uh, so you found the hidden goat. Now you can interact with the CCTV system. Now if you want to just get the password straight away, it's 0527. But I'll show you exactly where to get it just in case you want to know. Um, so interact with the numbers there on the bottom right hand side. Come in. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Um, you need to find a four-digit number. Now, I'm not sure if you actually have to find the number first, and we do that by just having a look at the calendar just to the right there of the framed picture, just underneath the hidden goat. Um, it basically picks up... It's the fifth... The, obviously, British and American... I mean, Americans roll backwards. Uh, I'm just joking. No, uh, just the date. So, it's 0527, but, of course, in Britain, it it's days, months, and year. It's the right way. America, for some reason, stuck a middle finger up to everyone in Britain and went, ah, screw this, we're going to do it the other way. Right, so anyway, a lot of things are going to happen. So the first thing we're going to do, ah, you've got to love British versus Americans, if you knew. So interact with the painting first, the, the La Malele di Gilo. La, la ma, Mala, yeah, I am that typical British person who butchers every foreign thing, so apologies about that. So, interact with the painting, and that will get us the Chasing Your Tail achievement. Discovering the Ouroboros. Uh, interact with Henri. Or Henry, if you're just British and you can't be asked doing the pre proper correct pronunciation. Then we can just go to the next frame. Which is the fast forward button there. And again, we're just going to keep going to the next frame. A little bit of dialogue is going to keep happening. And basically until we get to the end. The killer caught... The moment it all went horrible. Actually, we need to interact with the thief's helmet right here. Because, of course, we're just looking for clues. I mean, literally, I don't know why Henry was even bothering with that. Just be like, yeah, I'll just take the painting, mate. It's, I just can't be asked. I was thinking about selling up anyway, so screw ya. Interact with the thief again, and we now have a little bit of a clue that we can go on. Next, we can just keep slamming through the frames, and we're going to see our big, fat Johnny Bravo head appear. Arm box. I hadn't thought about that when I was... That was... I'd pro... Well, there we go. So, now we're going to interact with the desk. Again, obviously press the A button on that. And then interact with the desk drawer just underneath. Wap out the folder. 
Again, usually it's always the A button. Again, only a few instances will be pressing the X button to examine things. Uh, but again, press the A button, Press the keep pressing the A button. And we're just going to... Well, I mean, we're going to do detective stuff because that's... That's what we are. That's what we get paid the mega bucks for, right? <laughs> Red. Right from here, what we can do now is, is whap out our phone. So press the white button to go in your inventory. Press A on your phone, and then go to Vera Security and give them a little, a little tinkle. But never talk tinkle while you're actually tinkling. Tinkling, we and tinkling, right? Really? Well, I'm surprised. Do me a favor. The lady hung up. Okay, so that got us a grand total of butt flip nowhere. So we interact with the statue, and that is a hell of a statue to have of yourself. Dude must have been rich. Now you need to interact with the fig leaf, so let's see what's under there. Hey, nothing! Henry does not have a wiener, or at least his statue doesn't. I mean, it's a statue, you could, you could have literally just gone... Make it 15 inches, mate. Make me look spectacular, just in case anyone does uh, check me out. Uh, but you need to interact with the keyhole. Now, there are, again, there are a few times during the game that stuff seems pointless, but it's actually needed to progress the story. Right, when we back out of there, pressing the B button, go to the waste basket just to the left of the drawer. And we're going to pull out a piece of paper, put that back, and then Schnozola is going to pop in and be like, Hey, sake bleu, what do you think you're doing, man? I'm going to shoot you dead. Or your number one suspect. The French got really crappy there. I wasn't tampering with anything. I was just... That is my job. Stobart. George Stobart. Oh, really? Well, uh, no. We have plenty... Don't patronize me, monsieur. Only a fool. Yeah. Exactly. So I see. May I remind you? Of course. That. Okay. So when Schnozzy stops talking, interact with Vera Security. Do you know anything about it? No. I have never heard of it. It's very likely that this. Monsieur. Monsieur. Yeah. California born and bred. Of course. I think. Per rolling around. Interesting idea. Indeed. You may go now. I had some very... But before following up on... Hey, Nico. Sure. I am pleased to... This is now an official... I shall be questioning all of you again. Nobody is to leave the country. Monsieur Lane will stay behind to help secure the... Mo? Yes, Inspector. Let them... Right away, sir. Two coffee. Nice working. I just mean. I think. Ah, thank you, Waldale. You're a man of many talents, making one strong black tiny coffee, and that is it. Now get out of my sight. Go get me a croissant, you son of a bitch. Right, so anyway, um, enough talking to Walter the waiter, who can only do one thing apparently. Vera Security completion note. Choose first for the dialogue option. I've got their address. And for the next dialogue option, then choose theft. Like I said, I think it was an inside job. Someone disabled the alarm. Let me <clears throat> and then for the next one, make sure to choose Waterloo Motors, which is basically the most British-sounding um, garage on the planet. Oh, welcome to Waterloo Motors. <laughs> if for some reason he's a pig. I don't know why. Right, now choose Father Simeon. Do you think he helps the Pope in, uh, you know, <laughs> adventures of the kiddie kind? Okay, sorry, no more priest jokes about that. No more priest jokes. You're probably right. 
Good luck with your... Well? Yeah? It's good to see... Great to see you. Honest to God, it's South Park. They've rotted my brain with hilarity. Um, <laughs> on about priests, etc. Right, from here, go to Vera Security then, which is the CCTV-looking camera, the icon. And we're going to go into this uh, lovely little place with a couple of shops, and we've got a guy rubbing his head. Dude's hungover, definitely. So, just keep going down, and we are going to speak to our friend... Um, in fact, no, we're going to go to Vera Security first on the left. So there's Vera Security, go in through the left. And what I ended up getting frustrating is, god damn these characters walk slow as a shit ton of absolute massive bricks stuck to their pants. They literally could have just done it, so if you click the A button twice, you just automatically go there, but... Yeah, for some reason, god, they really wanted to drag out the walking on these characters. So we're going to help our little friend get rid of a cockroach. Um, so we can interact with it, but we actually need to pick up the matchstick off the table, which is on the right-hand side first. So there's crumbs. You literally can't do anything. We need the matchstick, so we can just back out of here. Again, pressing the B button. Go to the table on your right. So interact with the cigarette pack. Get rid of that. Which is a damn shame, because after all this, we're only needing a cigarette. Interact with a matchbox, and that'll give us a matchbox and some matches, funnily enough. Um, but from here, what we could do is interact with the matchbox in our inventory, drag it over to the ashtray. So we entered the matches, but we are holding on to the... I don't know why we're doing that, but it all comes in handy for reasons. Right, now we can interact with the cock. Ro roach. Roach's cock. Again, that's just all Americans, see? They say everything They say everything backwards, don't they? Um, in, put the matchbox right next to the crumbs, but we still need something else to um, put in there to get the cockroach. See, British people say cockroach, but if you're American, you probably say it the other way around, don't you? So you say roach cock. Eh, it's just all fun. America versus Britain forever. Right, now interact with the stall holder, whose name is Abassam. Sorry, mate, I was on one all night, and now I'm wrecked. Right, uh, ask him about his migraine. I'm going to say, mate, I was sniffing, I was drinking whiskey, gin and whiskey and rum till like four o'clock in the morning on my own, because apparently there's no other people around here. Now choose the neon sign. You want me to try fixing that sign? For Do you know what you're doing? I'm very good at fixing things. Then, please. Marketing analysis and predicting trends is more my th And now we can go to or press the B button to exit L conversation. We'll uh, go and get you some paracetamol, mate, and a McDonald's as well, if you prefer. That cures any hangover. Unless you've already hit over 30 and then you're completely dead for a week. That's just that's just the whole thing. Um, accidentally clicked on him again. What you need to do is interact with the neon sign just to the left of him. And again, anybody over 30 will know what a hangover feels like, and it feels like you, you, you're you just being ripped apart from every angle. So, um, we do need to come back here in just a bit, but for now, interact with the loose wire and pick that up on the left-hand side, just underneath the salad, the A of the salad. And there we go, so that'll stop that, but again, we're going to come back to that to get another achievement. Which can be missed, I think, and I'm pretty sure that can be miss, uh, missed. But either way, stick to, um, go and speak to Bassam. When you're building, I need... Could you help me with a ver... I'm sorry. I need a clear... Excuse you know. And again, what we're going to do is speak and interact with the neon sign. A couple of times when you're speaking to people, you may have to interact with the same icon twice in order to progress the story a bit. Just uh, to let you know. Um, otherwise, for some reason, it doesn't seem to work. But for now, we can exit the conversation and interact with the neon sign as well. Now, this is one out of about, like, four or five simple puzzles in the game. Basically, all we need to do is just swap the letters around until the writing in red on the right-hand side spells Aladdin. As in Aladdin, as in flying carpets and stuff like that. Yeah, so if you'd rather just see the finished product, go ahead and skip to... 
36 minutes and 30 seconds, or you can just have a look and um, go along with what I do. Swapping letters until it spells Aladdin. Yeah. Not too difficult. There we go, a whole new world. Now I'm not hungover anymore. I've got a big fat Coke and Mac McDonald's. Yes, I'm not hungover anymore. And that is the newest version of A Whole New World, performed by me. So, what we can do, interact with Bassam again, and then eventually, the Brand Is Everything achievement should unlock. It may unlock straight away. It may take as it was there a while. Um, again, if it does take a while to unlock, you'll see me sort of stand around in the same place for about 30 to 40 seconds. Just wait until it unlocks, just in case um, it ends up glitching out on you, because we don't want that. Right, so now that we've done that, he's going to give us the rich tea biscuit. Do not diss a rich tea biscuit, because that and a cheeky cup of tea and a cheeky cup of brew is just... It's pretty glorious. Even though the, the chocolate digestives are the best but uh, to dip in tea, but there we go. So now we can go to the cockroach... Or again, if you're American, you do it backwards. It's called Roachcock. Um, <laughs> but uh, go into your inventory, press the Y button, drag out the rich tea biscuit, put it inside the matchbox, and then finally we're going to get rid of the cock roach. What you could have just done is um, stamped him dead. But then again, Peter would probably be all pissed off, like they're pissed off about everything. You know, you could literally stroke an animal. And, you know, one decibel too rough fan, Peter all up in your case telling you that you are an awful human being and that you should die. So, screw him. Anyway, we've gotten the cockroach. We're going to interact with Big Vera right here. Oh, Annette, sorry. <laughs> her name is Annette, not Vera. Now, just ask her about the Vera security completion note. Didn't do a... Where did you... At the gap. There's been a theft at Liliza. A painting. That job was. I would. The place looked like. Maybe the office itself. Well, she doesn't look like a net. She looks more like a person to me. <laughs> but um. Psh. Right now we <laughs> interact. Ask her about the nail clippers. Ah, uh, I know. Terrible, right? I am destined for fame. Now ask her about the. Um, in fact, no. We could just exit the conversation actually. This time Thanks. around. So we need to do some sneaky detective stuff now. Interact with the phone directly in front of her. And then what are we going to do? Go into your inventory. Go all the way to the left to your phone and call Vera Security. Somehow um, this Annette, Annette person, she doesn't, you know, come up with the fact that I've just dialed the number. So immediately click on the radio behind you. And we're going to mess about with that. This is epic detective stuff, by the way. And then as soon as she goes over to sort the radio out, she hasn't even said hello. Rude. Annette will put her black book down. So as soon as she goes over to the radio, click on Annette's black book. I, I don't know how Annette can uh, hold a black book, personally, with no arms. <laughs> 
Funny. Anyway, we get a picture after interacting with her black book. Now we can speak to Annette and ask her about gambling. Oh, in fact, no, ask her about the photo of Annette and Hector Lainstein. That's my photo. That's you with Lane, I believe. So, what if it is? What? Oh, my. Yeah. I... Look, here's. I had nothing. I just delivered the paperwork. So. Right, now we can ask her about the Vera owner. As soon as it comes up, there it is. So, the Vera owner. The boss. Have you. No, I thought. And that. I had nothing to do with it. Look. Anyway, it's only. Now let's ask her about gambling. Thanks. And this is one of the times that for some reason um, you need to ask her about the same thing again. So, uh, speak with Annette again. Now, what we should have is George actually um, yes. saying a bit of dialogue. That's when you know you've finished in a particular area. So we need to ask her about the Vera owner again. So again, sometimes, even if you feel like you've asked the question, which you probably have, you need to ask her the same question to get out a bit more details. Now, speaking with her about Henry, Henri de Hiver. Oh. This is a murderer. I don't know. He. I've never s Hmm. Don't make trouble for poor- Thanks. I was pretty sure- And that's what I mean. So automatically, George will say, thanks very much, and then talk to himself for some reason, and then go through to the exit. So, now we are done with this area, we can go up rather than down for some reason. Um, donkey head, donkey ass head, me got confused about my ups and downs. We can just go to the exit. And back to uh, Le Galerie. The gallery was sealed off. Right, so before going into the gallery, remember the robot, the Joey robot on the left hand side, into the Lettre Kellerel window. So again, keep clicking on the robot until. Seize the day, boys. That uh, pops up, so that should now be three out of six Joeys. And now we can just go to the left, to the left, and to the left. And go ahead and speak to Walter Zewetier again. Hi. So now we just need to ask Le Walter about Hector Lainstein right there, and why is he been abusing his power and sexually assaulting every woman he comes across? Even though he's got a face a puppy wouldn't lick. But there we go. Go to the right anyway. That's all we needed to ask from Walter. Now we can actually just go to the right. Keep going all the way to the right. Through the glass. And just interact there with the metro station. And then what we do is come up to this alleyway. There's only one... In each new area, there's literally only one place that we can end up going. So it's quite a linear path in all fairness. So George, the slowest man on the planet, will eventually go to the right to the set of double doors, interact with the intercom, and then eventually we are going to be let in. Hello. This is George Stobart. May I come up? So you only need to ask this guy about um, Annette and later on the theft. You don't actually have to speak to the shadow figure or about the shadow figure, which is... Madame Dubois, which is probably, that French name, Dubois, is probably as common as, like, Jones's, or, you know, something in Britain, you know? Anyway, <laughs> we've been let in, and who was it who's trying to abuse his power again? Hector Bloody Lainstein, Jesus Christ, I tell you what, with that face your mother wouldn't love, you'd still manage to get your pie in everywhere, don't you, you dirty bastard? Interact with the Vera. Sorry, I went with that one quite quick there because I was just spamming through the A button. Ask him about Vera security and then um, ask him about the photograph of Annette and Lane. I'm you... oh. Annette lent it to me. Then ask him, why is he trying to make love to Annette? I suppose there's all little holes for little things, but uh, 
No, ask him about the net. Fix the s no, nothing. I believe it. Less of the... Especially when... And again, ask him about the Vera owner. Can you tell me anything about the owner of Vera? Annette told... Oh. You can't tell me what... You want me to show Bijou the... All right, all right, I'm going. Promise? And give me that photo. If Lane was... That meant that Annette was lying. She said she'd never met the owner. I wondered if she was hiding something interesting in that bag. Oh, you... Please. My name's George... Call me Bijou. Hello, young man. I'm from the... So we now need to speak to Bijou, which in uh, British terms, her name would probably be BJ, which we all know what that stands for, right? Meh, meh, meh. Um, but anyway, we need to ask her about Henry, Henri. And this is another one of those things you have to speak to her again and again to ask about Henri about three or four bloody times. My little pussy cat, which means he was no good in the bedroom. Uh, so again, ask him about Henri again. And now we can ask her about the gallery. By the way, uh, fantastic pieces of art on the wall. A couple of saggy boobs and a couple of saggy butts. N nothing wrong with that. Could have done with a bit. I mean, you're painting, so you could have perked him up a bit, but there we go. Um, anyway, from uh, from here, inter you need to speak to her again, actually, and then ask her about Henri again, which is why it, there was a bit of an edit skip there. So you need to actually exit out of the conversation, go back in and ask her about Henri, the gallery, and the theft. So apologies, that, that was a bit quick there. Um, but ask her about... So back out, ask her again about Henri, the theft, the gallery, and the song. And now we can back out this time. And again, you'll know when you do it right when this bit of um, dialogue options appear. Bijou appeared to know nothing. So if you've backed out of the conversation and you can't actually leave the room, just go ahead and speak to BJ, uh, B, uh, sorry, Bijou again. And uh, that will be that. That's how you get out of that one. Right. Go for a nice stroll. Get yourself another tiny stone black cup of coffee. The empty mall was lit by bright moonlight, the perfect ambiance for a little detective work. I wanted a... So now we're all like, bam, 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 mission impossible detective stuff. So interact with the box on the right hand side. We only need to interact with the box once, and then we need to interact with the girder, which is just above our head. It's above our head. So I accidentally interact with the box, but you don't need to do that. What we need to do is interact with the girder, which is just where George is, right there. And then what you'll do is climb up, and that is, and that's how we do that section. So as long as the box is pointing more to the left past the Aladdin sign, then you can interact with the girder and head over this side. Interact with the electrical box now to the left of you, pop that one down, and let's do a couple of things. And for some reason, Hector Lanestein's nail clippers seem to really do the job. Turn the switch off first, of course. Um, Otherwise, you're going to electrocute yourself, and that is a pretty minor inconvenience. Get the nail clippers out of your inventory and pop them on all three wires. And then what you need to do is grab, go into your inventory, grab the wire, the loose wire we picked out earlier, and then put it on the left-hand side, uh, the left bottom uh, wire right there, because of course that one is too long for the one on the right, so we'll try that one again, shall we? Grab the wire, put it on the left-hand side one, and then we can flick the switch to turn it back on. Job done. We are super cute detective stiff. And we also get the rolling map achievement as well when we go through the door. Now, what would have been cool is, you know, like a super security robot guard. But since there is not, 
Have a look at the draw on the left-hand side. Yes, I am still that super childish. Robot security guards go into the draw. I pick it up. And we find a... a it's a cotton bud. Now, if I got really confused the first time I heard it be called a Q-tip. It's, it's a cotton bud. It, it is literally a bud with cotton on it. Who was the first American that called it a Q-tip? <laughs> anyway, go into your inventory. Safety matches with the matchbox containing the cockroach. And then what we're going to see is a light that we can use on the right-hand side. By the way, that Q-tip cotton bud stuff, that's all Britain versus America hardcore bashing stuff. So interact with the light switch just to the direct right of you. I'm loving all this Britain versus America stuff. World War IV! After Russia versus Ukraine, of course. Right, now go into your inventory, get the cotton bud, and put it in the patch of oil. Or because this is an American-made game, we'll, we, we will call it what it is. It's a Q-tip. So now we've got a patch of oil on the... Why didn't they just call it a C-tip? Cotton tip. Anyway, let's get, let's get off that. Interrupt with the shredder and open up the lid. Go into your inventory and get the oily C-tip and put it on the gears. And now we can press the on button and that is going to mash up this letter. Now what's going to happen for the next couple of minutes is we have to put this particular letter in order together to obviously see what in the hell's going on. Again, there's no real direction needed. You've literally just got to put it in a particular place. So, if you want to follow along with what I do for the next couple of minutes, more than I can do that. Otherwise, just go ahead and skip to 55 minutes and 30 seconds to see the end result. So, yeah, literally four minutes of me bumbling about with paper. Probably easier to grab the paper clip as well. Sorry, by the way. Top right-hand corner, make sure to grab the paper clip first, then do all the letters for another four minutes, apparently. Probably easier just to go to 55 minutes 30 to see the end product and go from there.
It was the letter from Henri confirming that Vera Security had it. And after a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, moving the letter about, we know now Mr. Roman Madovsky, who seems to be the owner of Vera Security. Mrs. Dubois. Right, go to the vent and put your paper clip, go into your inventory, grab the paper clip that we found on the paper just now, of course. You interact that with the air vent, and then a whole cutscene and a whole... We're basically going to be um, schnozzified by Big Nose Neve. So interact with the air vent when it's open, little cutscene, and then schnoz is going to catch us, and we're going to basically go back. Gotcha. Well, would you believe it? It was a gun. Aha! You will rule the day you cross. Inspector, I mean. No, monsieur. You are. I found the murder weapon. Found? Mou! Arrest this man! I shall. Thanks. So, what's next? Yep. I'm on it already. Keep me of course. Oh. So now we play as the beautiful Miss Collard. Um, and oh, we're going to get something a bit different now. Basically, this weird random 90-year-old Spanish man's decided to know exactly where we live. Because that is completely not creepy at all, right? Anyway, a whole bunch of conversations going to happen, and we're going to be coming up to an achievement as well. But again, just blast through the dialogue as well for now. And now we're just like, uh, yes, please, come in, make yourself a home. Take your trousers off, get your testes out, you know, just chill out apparently. That's what we all do in other people's houses, who we've apparently stalked and know exactly where they live. Creepy Herbert the Pervert kind of vibes. My name is... I saw your red... I came straight away... And... The store... So, uh, for the first dialogue option, choose La Maledicio. La Maledicio. God damn it, I still can't say it. La Maledicio. So what? The fact... I have been... You have to... And when the next one comes up, choose the help option, which is the hand on the right. You've got my attention. I need more to go. I have... See. Yes, it's La Maledixi, the photo... You... I did, yes. I need to... Why? Please. All right. And now we are coming up to the achievement, just while this old unshowered man's made himself a home. Interact with the badly framed photo on the bottom right-hand side. And he's going to enjoy it. I mean, this guy's giving off real Herbie Pervy vibes, but again, we'll come back to that in just a minute. Before pressing the B button, go to the thief on the bottom left hand corner and that is going to unlock the ink trail achievement. So it can technically be missable, um, but as long as you just interact with that bottom left photo, the thief one, eventually, there it is, the ink trail achievement should unlock. When it does, just um, back, go back out and do some more dialogue-y stuff. Again, like I said, with some achievements may take a while to appear, so when I say they appear, or when we're about to come up to one, wait in the same sort of area, just in case it glitches out on you, which would be an absolute pissin' taken. Great. Banter! Guy wanted to stay in my apartment! Listen, we, we've, I, we're on social media now, we know exactly what happens with that. So, but apparently we're just going to let him sleep in our neighbour's apartment, <clears throat> which seems to apparently be locked, so open up the doormat, or interact with the doormat underneath you. I hadn't watered these plants for a week. Who does that? 
Right, the key is basically slipped through the crack, so what you need to do is go into your inventorious. Again, Y button, press card with chewing gum, A button, whap it out, put it in with the floor crack. Hey, Mr. Crack, my name is Mike. Mike Crack. And then we get the key, and now we can go in. Of course, you have to actually still use the key with the door. That's how you usually get in places. If you've struggled with that up till now, then... God damn, how have you lived? This will do. Glad it's up to standard. I have to go out, monsieur. Ronnie had promised me the front page if I got it. And you? I needed to find out. Maybe there was more to f So, uncomfortable meaning, what the hell is that Spanish guy thinking about me while he's in my neighbor's apartment? That's for another day. Right, now we are back here, interact with the Joey window. L'état colère. So just interact with that again until the dialogue... There we go, all parting is far shadow, the great final one, that's... I like it, I like it. Sadly for us now, so make sure that dialogue option with the robot appears. <clears throat> it should be, I think, five, I think, out of six now. Then we have to now, sadly, speak to Hector Lainstein. And, yes, you know exactly where this is going. He is going to get his Harvey Weinstein powers out, or at least try with us. But we know we're, we're too good for that. So, interact with the Lel Medicio owner. What do you know about that? Not. Next, choose the manifest dialogue option, which is on the right hand side. You mentioned the manifest. One more. And next, choose the gallery option, which is Les Lézards Bleu. Les Bleu Lézards. I am French, see, I told you I know exactly what it means. And Les Tri Color means color to try. Eh, maybe not. We, sadly, we have to say yes at this point. Um, he is going to try and show us his one and a half inch dangleberry, which is not, you know, I mean, I feel for all those poor women who went with the Harvey Weinstein way, but yeah. Like, imagine that coming towards you. Like one of those, you know, moldy old cocktail sausages that you find, you know, you find it underneath the settee after, after you've eaten a few, and it's covered in just mold and hair, and it just, it's just unwashed, it's unkempt, ugh. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> just to keep that in your mind, no problems. Right, so here we are then. Uh, Hector Lainstein thinks he's going to get some, and we know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> Luckily, it's not that. Whatever it was, the police had... Come, join me on the... You will... Oh, I'm never gentle. Oh. Oh. So, take a seat. <laughs> Au votre. Yeah, she looks uncomfortable. Just like many women do with just, you know, hanging, disgusting looking baboons in that same situation. Right, so what we need to do, uh, talk to, we actually have to talk to Hector Lainstein. And then uh, choose the glass of champagne option. So now, what's uh, Nico? To be fair... Beautiful women with seductive eyes makes any hairy baboon like this douchebag. It's just easy. It's just so easy. If you got pretty eyes, you can have whatever you want, apparently. Now, um, grab the glass of champagne, which he put for you on the right-hand side. Go into your inventory. And then use it with Lainstein. <laughs> to love. I tell you what, I would rather love a dead pig. Personally, than you, but there we go. On mon dieu. <laughs> sorry me, I put it right over your one-inch cocktail sausage. Very, very sorry. Not like you could see much anyway. Now, go and interact with the folder while he goes and washes up. The folder underneath the settee, where Lainstein's big fat hairy butt sack was sitting. So there it is. So now we definitely know the owner's name now. Mr. Madovsky, what that also gets us is the suited and fluted achievement as well. So, uh... Because I'm not sure there may be other ways you can go around that. So again, I'm not sure if that was technically missable again. Still, doing it this way, 
Nice. Who is he? He's new on the old. Fresh into London from Russia with Aunt B. Call our. I'm gonna. Relax, Ron. Okay. See you tomorrow. Ronnie didn't try. I was going to have to move. Come in. Hi, George. Great to see you. Hope you don't mind me just dropping in. No, no. How are you getting on? Pretty good. I'm impressed. Yeah? Then he threw me in. He couldn't make a stick, of course, so he had to... But he's convinced. But, hey, on the bright side, have I got a story... Annette, the when I pee, Me what? He ha You're telling me. We have to be sure. What the? I cannot sleep. Josh. Also, I did notice Nico assumed that Mr. Madovsky was Russian. How dare you? This is the day and age where we don't assume someone's anything. Not their gender, not their accent, not their nationality. How dare you, Nico? You can't even assume what the hell they had for breakfast without someone being offended by it. Right, anyway, um, he, um, Mr. Marquez is going to show us... Uh, this is a very diverse game, mind. Spanish and French and all Americans and all types. English. Interact with the child. Touch the child. Every priest's ears just went up then. And now interact with the man be behind him. Sorry, sorry. I did say I was going to stop. And now interact with the woman. My father, my mother. And now we can interact with La Madiquilia. A la Maladezio in the back. And now we can interact with the medallion that he's given us, which again is going to come in mega handy later on. It is the Ouroboros. The what? The Ouroboros. My father was a nos. Hence they both displayed. A pre- Ha! <laughs> Do not be- Whatever you think. If Marquez was the true owner of Maledix, might be tough to prove, but if I could... So, if the painting belongs to you... The fashion... After that... We need to talk. So before we leave this beautiful part of the world, let us speak to Nico. And then with the dialogue option, make sure to choose the Russian one, or Madovsky. What do we know about this Madovsky? Ronnie said he, he claims to... And... Now that... But why? We need to talk to... To do that, we need to... Now, what you're actually supposed to do is ask Nico about the thief. Uh, but for some reason, I get a bit um, squelchy and a bit uh, dumb right here. So ask Nico about the, th the thief. Um, for some reason, I back out and go to speak to Senor Marquez. Let's just go back to Nico. And there we go. Now we can ask her about the thief. Um, so I don't know why I did that, sorry. And his... Next, ask her about the tattoo. Which is the tattoo looking option, of course. And is the arm. The arm. Right, next, ask her about um, Waterloo Motors, of course, which is on the right hand side. And of course, no, be, nobody being British, they didn't think to think that. Just. Oh, hello, this is Waterloo. Oh, here, uh, uh, Waterloo. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, sounded a bit Boris e. Johnson there. Uh, I'm a stupid dumbass with a big fat blonde head. I can't do anything right. <laughs> but thanks for the number, Nico. So go into your phone in your inventory and <laughs> phone up Waterloo Motors. And it's going to be as less posh as you think, really. Oh, am I? How's it going? Right, when this next dialogue option comes up, anyway, choose the Waterloo Motors helmet. Four was where. I don't suppose you... Oh, no. 
And of course, choose the only other dialogue option there, which is the tattoo. It's a very poor looking tattoo. Probably got one of those, uh, got one of his mates that do it for 30 quid. And it's affected him. So now he's got, now he's got gonorrhea from it. Head. Oh, I know that guy. Terrific. No, that's more than enough. You've been a great... See ya. Bingo. Good work. And now we've got... How about a trip to London? I thought you'd never ask. Senor Marquez, will you be okay here? The bed is on... But it will... London cabbies. Got this is the place, here on the right. To our So. Yeah. Fine noodle? Yeah. George, how? Good, because I suspect you got it. So there we have it then. You should get the Russian Evolution Achievement and welcome to London. Looks sunny and beautiful. Uh, we're in the wrong part of London because nobody's getting stabbed in this part, to be fair. Uh, so you can interact with the intercom if you want. No answer, so we need to go ahead and speak to the gardener. His name is Hilarious and uh, we'll find that out in a bit. Anyway, so excuse me. Hello? And for some reason, this guy takes a day and an age to turn around. On your bike. Didn't realise I was on your mother. I'm sorry. Um, right. Ask about Madovsky. <laughs> and who the hell might you be? Well, is can you? Yes. Now, actually interact and look at the large topiary, which he is working on. The big bush, big eighties bush. So interact with that, and then speak to the gardener again. Now you're going to have a little conversation about topiary, which somehow gets us in there. So, interact with the topiary option on the right. <laughs> nice bush. Should say the same to you, love. Which is what all Londoners are like. That's how they, it's how they talk. I don't know, I'm just... I'm not from London, so... It's not enough, is it? Not for the big question. Life. What? Tell me. You... Die. That... Can... It... It is our... Well, you get any time. Much appreciated. So, of course, we need to get on his good side. So, when the option comes up, make sure to choose good, the thumbs up option, good. And make sure to choose the eagle option as well. I think we can still get in if we choose anything else, but you know, might as well get him wet for us, isn't it? You know, get him really hyped up. I owe you one, lady. You. No, please. And again, just choose the Madovsky option, which, I mean, Madovsky definitely, definitely looks like Val Vladimir Putin. Just all Russian political head figures just look exactly the same. Look all Putinated, or who knows? I... Okay. Hang on. Yeah, Mr. Madovsky? Yeah. Yeah. Right, I You've peaked the... That is not... The gate should be open. Follow me. Mr. Madon. Well, we're. We'll make him think. See if we. Welcome, well. Good day, monsieur. You are here. 
Oh, hello, Mr. Putin, sir. Who are you off to bomb today? Right, when the option comes up, make sure to choose the hard option. As in hard argument, nothing else. So you got soft and hard, make sure to choose the hard option, which is the brick. Not the teddy bear soft option, hard brick option. Life has been lost and a painting Bravely put, Miss Car. Now choose la demi la decimio mio. <laughs> what? <laughs> the painting? And now choose thief. We have reason to believe that. Oh, that is terrible. I trust this. Next up, choose Henri. Henri. Oh, purely on a professional. Did you? Ever... No, no, only a via. Very conscientious. Well. Next up, choose the receipts option. Do you have receipts? Of course. Ah, these things. What? I am the victim here. Now choose Vera Security. What the hell is that woman doing on the right? Hmm. Security. I've ne Ah, right. Next, choose the right option, the restorer. It generally looked like a woman had a hold of some man's trousers. It's my eyes, it's a small screen. I'm sorry, that's... <laughs> sorry, it's, it's it's old age. I'd rather... Of course. I think that is... When do you expect the claim? It will not be long, monsieur. When? Monsieur Medovsky, I'm sh Please. What is it, Shears? Hobbs is here. Tell him I'm... He mentioned the... For pity's sake. Uh, please excuse... The gardener's... Yeah, probably not with his... What a... Very clever creep. He just... We need... I could... Yes. So what the... Let's take a... Good a... Oh my god, he, the gardener's name is Shears. That is hilarious. Anyway, he ends right with the cabinet on the left hand side next to the double doors. Shears. Ah, oh, Harry Shears. Nice. Right, you're going to interact with um, basically the majority of these things. I'm not sure if it's needed, but we're just going to interact with the coin, which we definitely need on the left there. The coin next to the egg. Next, we will click on the note. Now we're cooking with ass. And next, we're going to choose Hobbs' card. So obviously, we've already got the address. Um, but I do have a look at the title page as well. Now, the title page is what we need for a puzzle in the next room to get another achievement. Uh, so just in case you were wondering, this having a look at the um, book and the title at the top, the underline there, that is what we need for the next puzzle room. I'll explain that in a minute. Uh, but everything else you can interact with there, I don't think it's necessarily needed, though. It's like my boss said. Okay, on the bottom right-hand corner, on the table, is a cigarette box, so interact with that. By the way, why would you leave could two complete random strangers in your affairs and your... Yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, now we can go into our inventory, use the coin, and use it on the broken catch. Extremely good fortune, that. And you can have a look at the cigarettes if you want, but the thing we need is the key. Which, again, why is Mr... Madovsky Putin leaving a random key about although I suppose nobody else is trying to break in and stuff so well we got the key we can now go into his room you should not have turned up here Mr. Hobbs I made it clear I would deliver the I wanted to make sure I've got a this Madovsky's arguing that portfolio is in so when Putin and Mr. Nobs uh, Hobnob Stop talking, go into your inventory, grab the key, put it on the door, the only double doors in, the, in this room. And again, there's not a lot that we need to do. Uh, we just need to finish that puzzle, which again, you get in the book of the title. You have not understood. I have got a few questions, though. I do not like questions. I noticed a couple of people. They were from the... Has the... Hobbsy... Whatever's in there... I got Hobbs. Okay, sure. 
And now we can finally go in. I mean, uh, George and Nico have genuine balls of steel to be doing this, but there we go. So again, not much to do. Um, we're just going to interact straight with the desk and do this first puzzle. The desk was magnificent. So, let's get in there. Um, again, it's the book in the previous room. It's the title, the first one, I think, which um, houses this particular pattern. So, if you want to know what it is just from now, it's the fourth symbol, the second panel, the third panel, and then the seventh panel. Sorry, not very, um, I'm not very Russian in the slightest, so I'm not even going to attempt um, to speak anything Russian. But the secret drawer pops open, grab the documents. It certainly wasn't <laughs> Madovsky's old sock drawer, which, uh, you know, every boy's got had one of those socks, which you just sort of keep under the bed or in a apparently drawer for your mother to find, and then your mother gets all pissed off because it's all crispy. Uh, anyway, so a bit of dialogue is going to happen now, and we're basically done with Putin Madovsky's bit. Plus the achievement, of course. Here we go. Uh, Hang on, expand Waterloo. Mo These are pizza. Nico. Pizza. Sh I, I just put everything back. Right. He'll never suspect. Cool, Nico. I'll handle this. I apologize for the lengthy wait. As you can imagine, my time is at a premium. That's fine, Mr. There. Nice collection of medals you have there, Mr. Madovsky. I earned them. Anywhere. Check. Now please, if you're quite finished. Thank you for your time, Monsieur. Well, no prizes for guessing. Hobbs is... Got it in one. Madovsky's pretty shady, don't you think? He bought our act, though. Yeah. By the time he realizes... Here's hoping. Looks like rain. Come on. Taxi! I think we just stepped off the London tourist trail. I guess this Hobbes character doesn't like visitors. Not the kind of place you'd expect to find. Unless you didn't. He's attracted art. So, welcome, welcome. We are at Big Hobnob's place. And a couple of things we have to do to get uh, to gain some entrance. The first thing we're going to do is interact with the letterbox close to the door. Remember, George, Johnny George Bravo is the slowest moving character in the history of video games. Uh, so it does take a while to get there. But basically what we're going to grab is the letter. So make sure to interact with it again. And that is going to get us the letter. The mailbox. Now, for the first time, we're actually going to use the X button. So, inventory, go to your unopened letter, and then press the X button on it. Don't do what I'm doing, I'm just being uh, quite mononic. Mononic? Moronic right here. So, press the X button on the letter. I know, it must be incredible to press a different button now and again. Ah, oh, thanks for the ad, Wargirl 4K. It is cultures. Interesting. This could come in useful. Yes, stealing other people's letters and mail do, it does come in handy now and again. So we interact with the van cab. And again, we just wish we could get there just a little bit quicker, but <laughs> there was no point complaining about it. Might as well just take in the sights. Right, so interact with the whiskey, which is in the glove box. It's going to come in handy for another achievement later on. And um, open up the bonnet with the bonnet catch just underneath the steering wheel. And now we can back out. Okay, let's go to the van bonnet. The engine was held together by... Everything was covered. Half the wiring. It 
It was one of two horns. It didn't seem to be a loose wire. But for now, we can't actually do anything. We need to, um, uh, so you interact with the loose wire on the right hand side. That is what we'll need. The horn and the loose wire, you need to know so we can back out and then get into the junk underneath. We're going to have a little bit of a phone call now, but we should be able to pick up two pieces of wire uh, to use. There it is. You cannot pass French Canada until you have answered that phone. Ah, Monsieur Stobart. I trust you have obeyed my instructions. Of course, Inspector. Good. Now. I see. Twelve o'clock. Uh, sure. Any failure to comply and I shall have you... And... That was Nave. Let me guess. non attendance yeah. So thank you so much for the riveting phone call, but we need to pick up these two pieces of junk. So two lengths of wire, one, two, buckle my shoe, up your mum a thousand. Now interact with the van bonnet. Eventually we're going to get there again. Okay, right, we need to get two specific bits of uh, this wire, so go into your inventory. Again, eventually, there we go. Go to your nail clippers, grab them out, and then clip any one of the long wires so we can clip that in half. So we should have one long one and two short ones. So now put your nail clippers back. We don't need them anymore, but we're going to go to the short wire and we're going to put it on the right-hand side loose wire. Oh, sorry, no. We're going to put it the one in the middle. Sorry, messed that up. My bad. So we actually grab the long one and put it on the right-hand side. So the long one goes down the sort of middle right there at the bottom. And now what we're going to do is grab the next two lengths of wire, eventually. There's the short one. Put that one on the very right-hand side. Just enough. And there's going to be yet another loose wire. So again, back into your inventorious. Grab the another short wire. And just at the top left-hand corner is the wiring loom. Pop that one up. Now the horn had power. I mean, it seems a lot of work just to took the horn when you could just literally knock the door. Or chuck something at this balcony door, but there we go. Again, I'm not a detective, so I don't know how to do this, Jeff. So, when we get here then, just interact with the van cab, and then toot the horn, and we will be let in by Biscuit Head Hobnob. I figured that should get Hobbs' attention. All right, hold your blooming horses. What are you up to? Hello there. Uh, we. So I hear. Now what are you doing in... Afternoon, Mr. Hobbs. About blooming time. About time you two showed up. Hello, Mr. Hobbs. Just get undressed behind that screen. Undressed? That was... The st... And as for you, darling, no need to get undressed. I've got a vivid... Either way, just go sit over there on that rope. That's perfect. Just hold it there. Nico made for a good... Listen, mate. I know I've got a 12-inch legend from Subway, because those 12-inch Subway sandwiches are delicious. Um, and I tucked that down my pants, but you can't, you can't paint that. So anyway, we've gone behind the screen there on the right, and basically what we've seen is a beautifully saggily, perk delicious old lady naked. Hmm. Very nice. Haunts me in my nightmares. That is literally like looking at your nan naked. So everyone stop what they're doing and imagine that's your nan and she's naked being painted. Just just think of it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it is freezing in here. That's why you're <laughs> that's why your nipples are about three inches long. Bigger than Harvey uh um Hector Leinstein's uh wiener bag anyway. So Lady Piermont, again, everybody's nan, naked nan, think think of that, give yourself some nightmares for tonight. We're going to go ahead and speak to her. 
And after that, what we can do is go ahead and check tech. Touch the thermostat on the left hand side by the stairs. Mr. Krabs won't be too happy, mind. Hey! Leave that dial alone. Sorry. Look, pal, I Her Majesty will just. Lady Piermont, Mr. Hart. Well. Oh. If you do not adjust the heat. Lady Piermont, it's the sir. In which case. Whoa, Lady. Good. Oh. I turned to. I wondered if. Jeez Louise, sorry mate, sorry about that, Jesus Christ. Right, go to the stereo, on the right. And then we are going to, you choose the power button, and get this place bumping. Interact with the volume knob on the left hand, on the right hand side, a couple of times. And then we can back out pressing the B button. Now, go up the stairs to the balcony door, what we actually need... Um, is Hobbs to be all right? Oi! Get it for you out of here, you stupid bastard! Okay, so it doesn't actually say that, but we do need to interact with the lift buttons just to the right of the door. It's gonna put that down, and now he's gonna be like, Oi! Oi, you little bullshit, I get down from there, you shine me. All British like. Now what we can do is go into our inventory, with the whiskey we picked up from the glove box in the van earlier, we can now interact that with the whiskey glass. Let's get Hobnobs nice and drunk. And then go ahead and speak to Lady Piermont, a.k.a. everyone's naked nan. And then just ask her to go in the lift. So use the lift dialogue and she's gonna pop her buns right in. And now we can finally interact with the lift but uh, lift buttons again. So yeah, a few things that we're needing to do here, but um, it's all worth it in the end. The stuff we do for achievements. By the way, this part is silent uh, with the stereo and everything. This is more of a just in case it gets copyrighted, which games like this inevitably do. Any tiny bit of music, they copyright you, and then I don't get no money, and I need money to survive. And to pay my bills and to, you know, feed my kids. God damn you. Right, so when he uh, messes with the lights again, we're going to interact with the lift buttons one more time. This is going to be one of the old days, mate. Let's get nice and pissed then instead. Right, interact with the lift buttons again. And he's starting to sway. Old uh, British Hulk right there. Up goes your naked nan. We get the achievement, the Water of Life achievement, we get pissed off again. And now we can immediately, as soon as he turns around, go down the stairs. And we're going to interact now with the portfolio, which is just by his canvas. So I leave messes around, buggers around with that. We're going to, uh, there's the portfolio, just leaning up against the table. I mean, you're any slower, George, you know what I mean? Like, you just think, oh, i just seen something over there, a little rat or something. Uh, anyway, that's a nice butt, but... But, but, that's not the but we've uh, come to look at. So, you can keep clicking on the sketch, but nothing's going to happen. You've got to interact with the left page, which is the next page. Again, that's a very nice but, uh, very enjoyable. Nice spot on there too, but we don't need that. Next page again, and this is what we need. So, it's not Lemadicchio. It is the Ouroboros. So, we need to pick up the sketch, and now Hobbs is going to be like, Oi, Sam, what are you doing, me?
this time when the, the option comes up, go in for the nice soft approach, because Hobnob seems like a decent enough guy. You know, he's just a bit of a whiskey head, that's all. There's nothing wrong with that. So choose the soft approach this time. We're not accusing you of anything, mister. And now, ask him about Putin Madovsky, because that is uncanny. It's like they looked at all the Russian people and went, ah, oh, we'll just draw Putin and sort of give him a half ass blonde mop chop. That'll do. Madovsky. Why didn't Madovsky mention him? Because. And Henri is dead. So. Lane? Lane, yeah, Lane. Look, pal. And you're wasting my. Go get the providence from Lane. But it also puts. Not my. Now both of you get lost. I've got a painting to finish. And we have a critic to inter. Someone's lying, but who? Is it the gangster? The painter? I need the head. What about the evidence from Medovsky's house? Will you give it to Nave? I think... So, as it turns out then, the detective agency and even the newspaper, the French newspaper, have a lot of money flying back everywhere, but let's head back to the gallery for now anyway. And of course, now this is Le Lézard de Bu. But of course, remember to interact with Joey the robot window on the left hand side before heading in to Le Lézard de Bu. Which now I think this is the I think this is the fifth one. I think I said last time it was the fifth one, but I think this time is the fifth out of six that we get. So now we can head through the gallery door anyway, and again, we're gonna have old Schnozola trying to work some contraption and some machine. Hello, Schnozola Clusto. None but it. Yep. But have faith. The location. <clears throat> One more. A marvel indeed, sir. Yeah, pass it. Let me. If I could. Shh. If... Move over, move. Now, oscillating reverberator, check, ref, now. Ah, Monsieur Stobart. Inspector, I've got... Oh, yes? I... Re... Yep. First... We don't... It's not a joke. It's all part of a... God. And I have no time. Now, stand over there and keep out of... Well, who are we waiting for? Mamwe... Ah, move. Mon Dieu! So anyway, from here we need to find out what happened to uh, Hector Lanestein. So there he is, the big cocktail sausage himself. And what we're going to do is ask him about um, the provenance, the piece of paper there, the provenance. And to ask for the malady. I'd like to see it. So the provenance is in the office. Lane was a push, though it looked like Bijou had. And that is actually all we need to know. So you can press the B button to exit okay, the conversation. Okay. And then again, schnozzy, schnozzy, schnoz, schnoz in the back is going to... I don't know what's going to happen. But we need to fix the machine anyway for an achievement. And to progress the story. Do it. What have you done? Pardon me, sir, but I... This is no time. Mon Dieu. A bit. Monsieur Stobart, but uh, this is a... Okay, okay. I considered making a run for it, but... F so we're trying to exit. Uh, Big Schnoz bag is not going to let us, so we are going to go ahead and fix the machine. So you can interact with the door twice. Um, and basically, <laughs> please keep yourself... It's a free country, bruh. 
I can do what I want. This is America. In France. Anyway, speak to Schnozzy Navi. And then just ask him about the machine. Well, when I bend over, this machine pokes me in the bum and I don't know why. Ignore the camera and the only fan setup. Ignore that, ignore that. Well. <laughs> like a. What was that move? I said, uh. Now, I do actually end up asking him about himself, but I'm pretty sure you don't need to do this, but I did it more or less just in case, so ask him. Ask him about himself. Ah. Uh, oh, yes? What? Precisely how many. Ah. Uh, you prove my point for me, monsieur. You? Oh, I'm... So let's go ahead and fix this thing. So, we're going to go to the left. I mean, that is as bumbling as you could get those two, but they couldn't you? But we're going to the left. Go to the plug socket on the left-hand side, which is just underneath all the paintings. Interact with the plug to pull it out. Of course, this is, again, just incredible detective stuff. When you go to detective school, this is all they teach you. What to do on video games. Right, go back and speak to Nave. Again, try and dodge his nose, otherwise he'll poke you square in the eye. Um, speak of the machine again. And then what he's going to do is obviously go ahead and take, take a little look. What a ridiculous generalization, monsieur. Look, I can see from here, it's... Ah. Do you need assistance, sir? Very funny, more. One moment. That got rid of him. Now is my... So that's got the bumblebees out of the way. Now we have to do the switches. Press the switches in a particular order. And it is two... Three... One... And five. So two, three, one, five... And press the power switch, and wow, all of a sudden it seems to be working. Goddamn, George Stubart, you're something else. Plus, we get the CSI deluded achievement, which is quite, it is quite frankly hilarious. I'm precisely, yes, sir. So we have no victim. Good. No, sir, just say. Have you ever... Well... Hmm. Uh, no. S but... Oh, damn it, Moo. Must you find problems? Let me... Relying on Nave's problem-solving skills could mean a lot... I had to find... I'll have a look around. Yes. Please. Father Simeon? Hi, Jean. Welcome to... Let me guess. Nave is overjoyed. Mm, not quite. But that's... Tell me about... So what do... Carry on anyway? What about... Ignore him. And this charade? The reconstruction? Josh. It's Nave's baby. Suppose... But we already know. Sure we do. Quiet, please! How can I concentrate with all this racket going on? Nave we Right, so now we have to do a reenactment. So when we get control of a Gyogi again, go to the door. To the back of it, we need to grab uh, Henry's things. Of course, I might just stick with the old British phrasing of things now. So grab Henry's head. His the top of his head, not the head underneath his fig leaf, of course. Grab the um, glasses off there. Because apparently we look good as a dead slash alive person. Which, not sure if to take that as a compliment or not. But anyway, we're heading back out. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and speak to Nave again. Oh, we're going to give the glasses to Nave, sorry. So go into your inventory, put the glasses out, give them to Nave, and then we can start the ting. Start the reenactment of death of life with the apparent blood 
slash tomato pizza stain on the floor. Come on, everyone. This pro God moves and indeed. Still about you are I tried to tell Didn't he believe you? Father, I'm not a young boy, please don't look at me like that. Hmm. Anyway, speak to Father Simeon with his apparent seductive eyes or whatever the hell they meant to be. And then ask him about the painting La La Melodicchio. Which, of course, is the British pronunciation of such wonder and beauty. La Maledicchio. Look at my dick, yo. Which sounds more British, to be honest, but here we go. Now this... Whoa. Because it... What kind of... Evil. It trails murder. And murder is... Po Next up, we're going to ask him about the Ouroboros, which is the big ring. <laughs> you never ask a priest about a ring. Especially if a ring's a bit smaller. Right, sorry, th that was the last one now, I promise. Promise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Only please rip. Anyway, moving on, now give him Hobbs' sketch, and he is gonna get right up himself and be all like, Oh my god, I can't do this no more. That is Am's evil. It is worse than I thought. What is it? It's just a. S Not just a. I wondered if it was some. I have. Father Simeon, I forbid you to leave. This is an official... Don't you... The painting. The devil? Do well, well. Pressing your witness is a little too... And you are? Richard Langham, into... We... Yes. What exact? <laughs> A little invent. Not to worry, Inspector. Ah, of course. Pizza box. Hmm. It looks like you're. A Hawaiian? There is a surf kit. Sorry, Inspector. Pizza? Move! Forget this surf shops. Get onto the... Nah, Inspector, if you don't. And in the meantime... Madame Collard. Langham sound a little more. Maybe he'd bring a dose of... So, Inspector Nave brought me up. I can guess what he said. I've been... Flattered. Just doing our. We all are, or at least try. I gather you and. That's right. Any lead so far? Maybe. Madovsky. You know him? Oligarch, oil, art, aluminium. Ex KGB. You need to be careful. Madovsky's dangerous. For a cop, like... Trouble with doing deals. But, I think... We found evidence that links Madonna. Hmm. And one of his men... Really? We also found a letter from someone called Gainan wanting to buy... Gainan? No... What about the... Ah, the good father's... So I... He kept saying La Maledizio was... Perhaps he's right. I'll take leads from anyone, Mr. St Let's keep coffees on me, or rather, on it. Miss Collard, Mr. St so, George, what... Interesting. I agree. 
You know, Nico. You think Langham's And there it is then, there's always the one suave, uh, you know, English detective, very, very much like Johnny Bravo. And of course, Nico's got the hots for him. Basically, may as well have been Henry Cavill with an English accent, because every girl would just melt. And every man, to be honest, because Henry Cavill is... Man, he was chiseled from the gods, wasn't he? Lucky bastard. Anyway, go to Bijou's apartment, or again, if you are from Britain, BJ's. Because with that childish, I go to Bijou's apartment anyway, which is on the left. And what you have to do is just interact with the intercom and Bijou will let you up. Yes? Bijou, it's... The air was reminded. What happened? Shush. So here we go then. When Hori was found dead, she did not barely cry at all. She was a bit gutted. But ever since this record got broken on the floor next to us, she was tamping apparently. So go ahead and speak to Baijiao. I stumbled because you were pissed, mate. Interact with the song <laughs> icon there. Sorry, I'd done that one a bit quick. I was just sm uh, spamming through the A button. And then again, press the song button again. Another one, George. I get. Oh, you're a darling. I felt terrible. Now, you can ask her about the provenance, but she really doesn't particularly give two monkeys uncles about it at the minute, to be fair. Her husband died, but that wasn't a problem, but she's tamping that her record got broken. So now we have to go all the way out back out of the map and we're gonna have to go and see our old friend Bassam you know the one with the incredibly hungover migraine or which he says he actually blamed on the neon lights which is all lies so go out and go back to Vera security and again go ahead and speak to Bassam who appears to be less hungover than he once was which again like I said he's probably over 30 so it did take him a week to get over it so Interact with the stall, and then what we need to do is interact after Batam speaks, interact with the musical greeting cards, which are deadly directly in front of you. There they are in the red basket. So interact with them. And now we can go ahead and speak to Basam. Bas Bas Batam. Sold anything? Sold anything? Well, yeah, mate, it's a shop. That's what shops tend to do. Right, interact with the song icon anyway. <laughs> Just interact with him. And then apparently, apparently he gets his migraine hangover powers to um, have a look at the database, which is pretty goddamn impressive. So he's going to give us that. <laughs> we don't, don't worry, this is not a side quest or anything. We don't actually have to mention his shop again. And we can just press the B button to back out, and we can go all the way up and go back to BJ's apartment. Bijou's apartment, sorry. Keep getting that one wrong. Why? Bijou, it's George again. And so here we are then. Why you to go into your inventory, get out your musical card, and go ahead and give it to a bijou. How about this card? It plays the tune. Oh, how wonderful! Dance with me, Henri. Bijou? Henri? No, 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 no. I am not Henri, you damn pisshead. Uh, you can interact with the provenance again, um, but she's just going to say, 
Just dance with me, Henri, who you are obviously not Henri, because even though I'm drunk, you'd remember that Henri is dead. Unless you've had the strongest schnitt that you've ever had. So, that's what we're going to have to do. Um, press the B button here to back out. And, well, we're going to have to dress up like a dead guy. So the first thing to do, interact with the dead guy and pick out his white flower. Which, again, you probably won't be doing in real life at any wakes or any funerals. By the way, I just re isn't he starting to smell a bit? He's been here for a while now, but hey, it's what I, I couldn't do that personally. Anyway, interact with the dressing table on the left-hand side. No, could not have a dead sibling or dead person in my house just chilling. Deadly. Interact with the wax strips. And then what we're going to do is just back out here for a second. George is very Johnny Bravo-ish, isn't he? Uh, go back over to where Henri is. And on the table to the left of the dead body is um, a dog, a stuffed dog. So get your wax strips out and interact that with the stuffed dog. And we're going to use that as a little moustache and beard. I mean, to be fair, Henri's not exactly going to need his, is he? So you could have just shaved it off and just stuck it on yourself. And you're not going to feel it if you rip it off, because, man, he did. So go back to the left and go back to the dressing table. This is a bit, this is quite the weird one. I, I assume not many detectives have, have had to do this in the past. Right, first of all, grab the, um, it's not the rogue brush, what are we doing? We're grabbing the brown eye shadow, which is just underneath the mirror to the left there. So we popped that one, <laughs> now we've got brown hair. Kind of looks just unwashed, but there we go. So now we're going to have a goatee, so go into your inventory, get out the wax dog hairs and put it on your mouth. How good are we going to look? And hilarious. More hilarious than good, but hey, it's whatever we need to get the provenance and the achievement as well. So from here, what we're going to do is go back into our inventory, grab out the glasses, put them on our eyes, because of course that's where glasses usually go. Damn, we are looking more and more like a hipster douchebag all the time. And us telling us that the economy, man. Anyway, grab the white flower and there's a buttonhole. No, you, you don't put the white flower in your neck. That definitely doesn't work. Grab the white flower and just to the right, on the right hand side of the collar is a buttonhole that we need to press. There it is. Man, the economy just rips you off and oh my god, these big corporations just want to suck the jelly out of you, man. That's what we're starting to look like. Right, next, go back into your inventory. Eventually, grab the eau de toilette. Literally just toilet spray and then put it on your neck. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, if you could just get a joint and then a complaint form about how the corporations, they just want to take you down, man. Then you would have been absolutely perfect. But this will do. Little cutscene. We are going to skip this cutscene, though, so... Don't worry about having to watch them dance. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're a good guy, so we're just going to leave. We, we've got the key. We've got the achievement. That's all we needed. We are now going to leave. We're back at the gallery. Well, what the hell just happened? Messed around with a lot of dead stuff. And there's Father Simeon with a wealthy as a way deal. Right, before doing that, in fact, no, we got to... Uh, talk to him automatically so we remember we have to speak to joey after speaking to father the robot window and that will be the last one that sketch you showed me in the gallery the study from la maledicio it showed a dangerous the symbol the tablet of it is a tablet of tell me more about this tabula veritata it is an it was in 1209, we wiped out almost all the Cathars. My... But we... We pre... Were the Cathars all... All that came... I still don't get why the Nast... They see God as simple and reveal Lucifer. Wow. What's so... Like Lucifer himself. Thank you, Father. Be careful. Please excuse me. I will remain here. I have more I must... I had to get into the gallery and find the pro... But... I so there we go. After speaking to Father Simi Simi Simi... Oh, let's interact with Joey again. Now, for some reason, this achievement didn't unlock till literally about a minute later. 
But that is why I'll just go into the gallery here. Um, after we get that one. We're going to use Bijou's keys to go into the gallery door. Because, of course, thankfully, I mean, Navé and French Mo Sislak has finally pissed off for the day. But, yeah, I am just going to wait here for literally... It is, I'm sure, about another minute just for the achievement to unlock. But you should get the achievement. Providing you've got all six out of six Joeys, interact with them six different times, you will get the achievement. But, again, for some reason, it just seems to... Uh, take a while unlocking, but I don't want to go too far um, I didn't want to go too far ahead just in case it ended up glitching There have been no reports of achievements glitching, but you know, it's always better to be safe and sorry There it is anyway, so yeah, it took about a minute to unlock So if it doesn't unlock straight away, just wait around for a minute or so and you will be as golden as dandy nuggets, man So let's head in through the door. You should have that achievement Joey and now we're going to look in the safe. So to the right hand side, we're gonna have to um <laughs> we're gonna have to tickle Henry's pickle again, get rid of the fig leaf and tickle his pickle to open up the safe. To be fair, if I had a statue of myself, that's what I get people to do if they wanted to look in the safe. Tickle my pickle! <laughs> right, Bijou's keys, open up the safe. There are two things in here. One is a diamond ring, which could probably be worth quite a bit of money. But we're not like that, are we? And grab the note as well. Now, why would Harvest be sending that? Ha it clearly stated that Madovsky was. I had to take a closer look at. At first glance, the provenance looked authentic. Right. So when we get here, then uh, interact with the provenance once and twice. And then we can go into our inventory, get out Hobbs' sketch, interact that with the provenance, and there we go. We can tell it's right, because for some reason, some dopey butt snatch decided to put a cup of coffee or a drink right at the top, or well, what would have been the bottom of the pages there. And now we are on to a winner. So, something's happened. <laughs> How do we get out of here now? Do we have to tickle homies pickle again? Oh, no, no, no. Grab out the diamond ring from your inventory and put it on the right-hand side window to get out. And then we can go back into the gallery door that way. Father? Who did this? Don't let them. They are going to rest. Those were his last words. So, Diamond Gazer unlocked. Plus, Simeon's dead now. Which is unfortunate. So grab the papers out of Simeon's hand. Yeah, there's not a lot of um, sympathy from these characters in these games. A lot of death happens and then not a lot of uh, sympathy occurs. Um, right, so what you can do, basically, he's going to read the complete paragraph automatically, as he's doing right now. Um, and then what we're just going to do is interact with the little symbol on the right, the writing in the top left-hand corner, and then we can just move on. Intertwined with pure light, white light, pure light, so it was written, affirmed by the... And these were... It was powerful stuff. I wondered how it connected. The illustration, the blue and the crowd in the foreground were, I guessed it was. Fortunately, the note, the, the inquisition into her scan, the note, see, the note was written, it said that the attached, the note was written in line, it said that the, my God. Huh? I know this looks like... Like you've been... Excuse me. Nico... Lane, it's not what... Murdering a priest stope. It's a simple misunderstanding. Nico, 
In here. Oh, I, I thought you were being attacked. When I arrived... Did you get a look? No. What a mess. I don't know. Or dead. Not a... What do you mean? I just... My God. I don't know. But before he died, he begged me to... The devil. Okay, but... I don't know. I mean, yes, it did look bad that I was there when another dead body was occurring, but it's just... It's... It, it, yeah, how are you supposed to get out of that one? Right, so before interacting with everything in the room, we're going to grab the pugs. So the first one is at the foreground. As you can see, big pug statue. The next, you have to interact with all three pugs just above the clock to the left of the door. So you got the tiny pug, the medium pug, and the large pug. I mean, this guy has a pretty unhealthy obsession with pugs. I wonder what he's doing to these pugs. The next one is the painting just above the already open door. Might be easily missed that one. So, pug on the canvas. The next one is obviously the big, massive one in the frame on the main wall. Pug in love. Somebody has an unhealthy obsession. Right, the next one is on the sofa. The very left-hand side pillow on the settee there. And to the one to the right of that. And there is another one to the right. Just to the right of us. So, there should be three pug cushions. And there is also... One very easily um, missed one on the right-hand side, on the bottom of the bookshelf. So, yep, as, as long as George has said, I have found them all, then you know that you have found them all, and you're all good to go. If he hasn't said that yet, just go through each one again until he says it. But, uh, you know, they're all pretty much easily uh, located anyway. So, what we're going to do, just interact with the chair, and we grab an item out of there. The medallion. Marquez is medallion because of course he has gone now uh, so you can interact with the mess You can interact with the seti and then we can interact with the blood on the floor Marquez wouldn't have intentionally left The sofa was a real mess, but there was something between the cushions It was one of the photographs that Nico it showed a section of La Maledicio. Marquez. Marquez had circled one. That had. There was still quite a blood stain. I really hope that. His job. Marquez's medal and Marquez scribbled. Simeon must have... We should... Hold on, my phone. Hello? Oui? This is in... I am... In... Do... But he seems so... Chant? Trust me, madame. That was Nave. You're in big trouble. Lane saw me with Simeon's body. He set me up for sure. Well, Nave... We have to... Down the back stairs. We'll go through Fleur's shop. Ah, there you are. Sorry. Such... Damn it. So he's talking. Oh, no. Who? My name... Ah, the... That's the... Hey, Fleur. You were expecting us? Charged with the murder. Whoa. News trap. Take the. What do I do with a. Bribe Moo with a nice errands? You will find. Now. Oh, hey. Hi, Nico. They say I can't go up to my pot. Oh. Yeah, uh, I'm Adam. I live in. I know. Fleur, can I sit here for a while? 
by all means. So what now? Ah, so there's the neighbour, kind of looking like the um, fat guy, but a skinnier version of the fat guy from the World of Warcraft episode from South Park. But uh, there we go. He's gone to a coin convention, which is always very manly. Um, <laughs> no, no, it's probably cooler. Uh, grab the flowers anyway from the bottom of the till, and then go to the right-hand side on the boxes. And then eventually, 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 the pee-pee. <laughs> Pee -pee? pee pee yeah that's a hell of a flower you can't beat the pee pee flower so uh grab that one anyway there is going to be a plastic statue we can grab the mannequin piss or mannequin pee of course it's not mannequin piss i'm just um doing it the extreme extreme british way mannequin piss right speak to adam who is I mean, he, he is just a devil with the ladies. He's got that bald head. Well, balding head by the looks of things. Um, just, just, you know, he is basically the Henry Cavill of this game. Beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Right, so anyway, uh, we're going <laughs> to slam through and speak to Big Adamski for a moment. That's fascinating. So, uh, tell me more. And after asking him about himself, what we can do now, he's just basically got a mega boner for talking about coins. So, we can now go into our inventory and grab the coin. Remember we grabbed the coin from uh, Putin Madovsky's office earlier on. Apparently, this is an incredibly rare one and it's going to make him a crap ton of money. So, well, I mean, we've done our good deed for the day. We might as well just cancel this, uh, we might as well cancel the shift. No, we've done, we've done our good deed. We made someone very rich. And of course we're going to steal his MP3 player, uh, MP3 player. But basically he's going to have enough to play about a million MP3 players. In fact, he could probably get the live band to sing for him if he wanted. So have a look at the CD player then on the till watch at which Adam left. And then uh, press the stop button. And then go over to the left and use the eject button. Grab the compact disc. It sounds... I mean, he wasn't even listening to music, actually. He was listening to ocean sounds, which... Yeah, Q. Has super Q. Grab the batteries, anyway, from the battery compartment. And then what we're going to do is actually go into our inventory and put the batteries with the statue, the mannequin piss. The mannequin bees, of course. Um, so, basically, what we need to do now is get um, French Mo Sizzlac outside. We press B to back out here. We need to get French Mo Sizzlac to just go for a whiz. So... Um, we're going to put the mannequin piss now in the trolley. The mannequin piss just sounds a lot funnier, really. Uh, so the statue's in the trolley. So we can push it outside. Now, I'm not sure. Basically, what we have to do is there's a CD player to the right of the shop owner, whatever her name is, I forget. Which we have to put the ocean CD in and push this um, mannequin piss statue outside. Um... Now, I don't know if you have to do what I'm doing first to progress the story, or if you can just put the CD in and then push it outside. Um, it, for some reason, it didn't see... This is the only way it seemed to work for me, so... So, what we do now is grab the whiskey and put it in to the uh, mannequin, so he starts um, beasting. He starts pee-peeing, which is hilarious. Mannequin beasts starts weeing. So, we can push it back outside again. Which would be two of the three things that we need to do. And he's... Well, he's starting to go now. He's starting to just... <laughs> Man, I've never seen someone hold themselves so much and just stand there like nothing's happening. So, grab him back in. And then what we can do now is go back into our inventory. Get out the compact disc, the Ocean Sounds. Which I suppose is very calming. Personally, I just prefer to listen to a lot of rock music and a lot of metal. But each to their own. Don't judge me now, just because you're into, you know, genuine crap that's about these days. And I know I sound like a proper old person when I say that. Well, oh, the chart music today is no good. It's a piece of crap. Right. So, you've put the CD in. And that should be playing. Now we can put uh, push the mannequin piss in the trolley outside. And that is how we get French Mo to uh, move on. Uh, get it? Move on? <laughs> uh, I am so witty. And pretty. And bright. Okay, that's Moo out of the way. Let's. 
Where? To see... She's been telling me a crock of lies since day one, and right now, I'm want the... So you... Yeah, so, she's got some... Unsurprised. Um. Bijou? Can't it wait? No, it. Uh. In the daylight and without the fog of in. May I present my friend? George. Oh. Ah, uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we know you're lying. Oh, 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 my head's not in the right frame of mind. I bet it's not BJ. Right. So, <laughs> oh, she, oh, she's pretty. She probably is pretty hungover. Ask her about hobnobs, anyway. No, I. He certainly. Then we're going to interact with Hobbs's note, which should, you should have got from the safe in Harry's office. You give me the keys, you douche. <laughs> what a loser! <laughs> the note is addressed. You are in charge. Oh, so what if... And again, ask her about Hobbs. Sorry again, I was just spamming the A button, which is why you went quick then. And then ask her about the provenance. So you had the provenance made. I'm... Then let's ask her about Henri. I believe... Hi. A diamond ring. A gift... Henri bought... He never... I think Henri asked Madovsky for more money. And me... Nico. No, Truth is... I... And now Henri is dead because... Go ahead. So, you... We... They were in... So you are unfit. It was never... So you had Hobbs fake the prop. Wilf... Wilf is... So what was Madame... It was... He wanted to catch. He said, I've been. Henri was. I know you. Wilf called. He said. Does that mean he has the painting? Yes. He joked. Thanks, Bijou. You've been very helpful. You know, I had the strangest dream earlier. Henri was. That must have been wonderful. Anyway. <clears throat> George. No. Can so in the end, all we have to do now. Yeah. I get that f And I get to clear my name. So much for your devil-worshipping Gnostic sh Well, you know me. No Hold on. What's the m- This chain- it's from the gate. So? It's been forced. A break in. Or maybe. I mean, this is a lot of traveling just to solve a case, but hey, it's pretty. It's espionage. 
So, interact with the crowbar just behind the van first of all. That's the first thing you're going to do. Two hours, 21 minutes in. Bloody Jesus. Wow, what a what a fun fest this has just been. Um, there is no Hobbs, or at least he's not awake. So, interact with the door. And again, this is where the slowest characters, for some reason, it's like they've eaten a big meal and they just start getting slower and freaking slower. One Mississippi, two Mrs. three Mrs. No Hobbs. Out cold. Next, we're going to interact with the van. We're going to try the old beep beeps. So get in the van, try the horn, and uh, see how horny it can get. A blast on the horn. Ah oh, man, this guy is probably off his nut bags on uh, from whiskey. All right, so we're gonna have to go the hard way. So up the drain pipe on the right of the door, up the old uh, Dwayne pipe. I wonder if there is actually someone out there called Dwayne Pipe. There's got to be, isn't it? Somebody's parents must have gone. Well, we're just gonna piss our son off now and make him the butt of the jokes in school forever. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. Right, so we got Seagull in the way. I mean, you could have literally just thrown a rock at him. Again, Peter would start crying and be like, it's cruelty. He's in my way, bruv. So from here, you need to actually speak to Nico. So make sure you to speak to Nico. And then ask her to toot the van horn. And again, apparently there's no rush with these people. Thanks, Nico, you pretty lady. Right, inventory, get out your crowbar and then interact that with the crane, which should be just above the Dwayne pipe. <laughs> and then eventually, I think we should now be good to go to fly over to the other side and get in. Go on, Georgie boy. Oh, man, my hero. Come and take a Mon Dieu. It's Oh no it's not. It's a Hobbs. In the style Or as the expert Hob Oh the You And <laughs> that's violated. Yes. Yes. Is Yep. In your Yeah. Oh, so for this point, you're going to have to use your imagination. What has our naked man done to us, according to Hobbs in the painting? Well, we'll let you decide. Uh, but anyway, what you need to do now is go over to the lift buttons. Um, yes, so we'll try that. We'll just try that one again. Go over to the lift buttons. We need to grab the lift up, and then what we need to do is go into our inventory and grab the chain and interact that with the lift, and then George will automatically put it to the door. And away we go! What are you doing? I'm not a... That should do the trick. So what now? Let's see what... And welcome to Paradise, if Paradise was set in the 1980s and you were, I mean, you were pretty poor. Um, right, so, what we can do first is interact with the phone. We're going to listen to a couple of messages first off. Oh, and now it starts getting El Spiso. 
not white people salt spicy. I mean, like you know, proper, proper Nando's hardcore hot sauce spicy. No. Hot. Medovsky here. I'm at the airport. I have to be quick. My flight leaves shortly, and I'm... it. But if that is your wish, I receive. I shall send my. Take care, my friend. Message two. Hello, darling. It's Pichu. Look, sweetie, but I'm going to have to put our little plans on hold. I spoke. I want. Anyway, I feel. Do take. Bon. You have no. Wow. So, Bijou, at least. And what? What if my. So, Bijou and Hobbs? BJ and Hobnob? Yeah, it makes sense if you um, look at it from that weird angle, which you probably didn't. But they were lovers. So, interact with the portrait. We are now looking at Am's woman's butt. Now, that one, we <laughs> that butt with a spot on it, we've seen a couple of times. <laughs> it's just, it's still funny. I'm so sorry. Childish. It's a butt. <laughs> So maybe. So after laughing at the butt painting for as long as you can, um, interact with the cupboard door, which is uh, just underneath the phone. So just to the left of the settee, underneath the phone from earlier, interact with the cupboard door. And we're going to grab a cheeky little Coca-Cola, which again, Coke always comes in handy. I mean, it, it really depends on which way you look at that and uh, how much you are into the old um, sniff sniff. Um, but we're on about Coca-Cola, the drink, which is the majority of normal people. Go over to the right, and then we're going to make a shock of discovery. And now the big-chested hobnob uh, seems pretty much dead, which is why he didn't answer. I'll give him that one, then. I'll give him that. Is he dead? Sure looks that way. Poor guy. He's been stri- You know, maybe Simeon was right. The painting- I mean, yep, yeah, if somebody looks strangled, pretty much probably means they're dead. So, interact with the old hobnob. This is the last time we'll be seeing him. Grab the mints out of his pocket. Again, very um, very handy, these mints and Coca-Colas just hiding in specific places. And that's all we need. <laughs> so, sorry, Hobbs. There's no uh, sympathy. There's nothing for you. We're just literally robbing your mints, bro. Sorry. Interact with the uh, frame on the right-hand side as well. Someone's cut. The canvas left around. If that was like... But remember... Your... And... Then... And the... And the final thing we're going to do in this room is have a look at the pin board on the back of the wall. And we're just going to uh, take a look at a few things. Click another few things. Come on, Nico, bro. We haven't got all day. Come on. I know you're a journalist. You're not exactly fast and you're very intrusive. But um, come in. Right, so interact with the bottom right hand side sketch where it says Castel, which of course means castle, which is, I mean, that was pretty obvious. And then what we're going to do is interact with the Castel del Sants, which is just the top right there. Castel del Sants. Saint's Castle? That's, yeah, okay. Yeah, we are we are flying now, boys. And that's it. That's all we got to do for that bit. So now what we can do is. Uh, we sh well, we unlock the achievement, no parlo el catala, you know? For decrypting Hobbs's map, which was very not that tricky. Right, so to the left-hand side there, back to the old hilarious butt painting. Grab your crowbar, and then interact that with the portrait. That is where we're going to see Lil Mal Lil Dekio. The painting, of course. That's what, what I'm talking about. Not talking about my Lil Dekio. What about the painting? As usual. <laughs> so yeah, Maladilimetio, huh? Look, it's the same face that Hobbs and he must put that one. Th like Simi, one thing is this one is the original. Which means whoever cuts the painting and I'll. I guess this pretty much. Yeah, should be enough to get Nave off my back. In the end, and greed, Madovsky wanted to. And he didn't care. So what now? I guess so. I do wonder. You still think? I don't. 
such well what was what oh eh no eh we are on fire we're about to be on fire <coughs> so since we're about to die anyway oh that's unfortunate isn't it so we're not very good we're quite bad luck aren't we so go into your inventory get the mints and then interact them with the cola bottle and we need a shake 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 sinara shake your cola bottle right yeah and um, again with a trembling bottle, get it out and then put it in the drip bucket, which is just underneath the, um, uh, what's that freaking window called? The, the skylight, I think. Skylight? Yeah, that window at the top there, so you can get out of. So we're going to pop that one out, and it's going to go... Skylight. Oh, skylight, I was right. Oh, jeez. I'm not as dull as I seem, apparently. So we've got the window open. Now we can get the dust sheet and interact that with the crowbar. And then we're going to pop that dust sheety crowbar contraption that we just made, put it up at the window. And that basically finally ends the first chapter. So it was literally about two and a half hours of this first chapter. And um, yeah, the rest. Now we're off to Spain. Let's go. Might as well go for a holiday and a nice tan. Terrific. Wait, Josh, isn't that? Langham. Oh, thank God. Langham, help! We're up here! Quick, round here. Why didn't he help us? I don't know. Maybe because he started the fire because he wanted to kill us why i have no idea you think he killed hobbs could be maybe simeon too so i josh do you <laughs> london's finest so what now Nico and I had thought the adventure was over. Actually, we'd only just started. Nothing was what it seemed. Catalonia, the foothills of... Let's just... Welcome to Spain! Ah, grande, grande! Right, so, it's starting to, so it's going to start dwindling down now. We've done the first big, big bit, so now it's going to start dwindling down, and we are being completely shot at, which is not funny. It's funny if you don't get shot, but if you do get shot, it's, it, it somehow seems less funny. Especially when it happens to you, it's, it's not good. To it. But who? Medovsky? Langham? Whoever it is. All right. And be careful. Are you kidding? You right, when we get control of Nico, there is going to be a helmet just to the left of us right here. And we're going to pick that one up. Okay, put that in your pocket. Again, extraordinary where she's sticking these things. Put the mop and the helmet together. And again, no tape, no nothing. She is, she's a woman of many talents. Put the mop with the helmet on the crumbled wall, and then he's going to start shooting at the wall, which means George is going to go to the next area here. Okay, this is an important bit. For, so, all right, I haven't, for one, I haven't played the Broken Sword games, but apparently George is a bit of a fanny when it comes to goats. No idea why. Um, but this is an important bit. So, if you get hit... Basically, we need to get him to charge into the tree. If you get hit by the goat, um, and you end up losing the provenance document, just go back up and then reload your save. And you'll start at this very, very bit again. So this is what you have to do. Go into the apple tree, and then as soon as he starts looking at you, go left and go and press dodge. Bam. There we go. 
So that bit is good. So now we can start feeding him some apples and everything. But if it was at that point again that he hit you, you and George says, oh no, I've lost a document or I've lost the provenance or whatever. Go back, uh, press the start button, go at the top to, I think it says like menu reload or reload save or something. And you will start at this point exactly and just do it without getting hit by the goat. I'm telling you why that's important because it is very important for an achievement later on. So there we go. So as long as you've done that first time without being hit, we can just move on, pick up the apples and stop being an absolute scared little pansy boy. But since we are... Go into your inventory, grab the apples, and feed them to El Goto. Hey, Mr. Goat. I was hoping the goat would be more friendly now. So now, even though we would have lost the provenance earlier, we're actually going to feed him the provenance now. Again, this is very important, so don't think that I was just doing that to take the piss. So feed the goat the provenance. And we're going to get the goat to trust us more. In inventory, Marquez's scribbled photograph. I mean, I hope Marquez isn't going to miss any of this because, uh, well, it goat poop now. And with the last one, go back into inventory and give him the remaining of the rich tea biscuit, which has been in your pocket for a good couple of days now. So it's probably gone a bit moldy. So if you someone can handle it, brother, get it down here. As we're still getting shot at, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. No problem, but Right, with the... Uh, go into your inventory, grab the rest of the apples, and throw them over to the oh, bottles over the other side. Oh, Basically, our main objective here is to grab the tyre that the goat's on, and drag it over a little bit. Even though you probably could have just thrown the apples over anyway, and he could have just done that in the first place. But there we go again. Right, so when he is there, and he's at the other side, grab the tyre... And Georgie Pig is going to move it over slightly, which will get us in the car. That's what we want. That's what we need. The goat now. I tossed him my. And what do we need from this car? Uh, well, an engine and a couple of tires would be good, but we actually just need the side mirror. We're going to blind the uh, probably the worst shooter since the you know since the Call of Duty series in the I mean the last couple of ones because they can't shoot for crap. The first two or three Call of Duties were phenomenal, and they used to kill you dead even on completely easy mode, which was frustrating. So we got the side mirror. So we're going to go into our inventory, use the side mirror, and use it with the sun at the top. That should also get us the Order of the Goat achievement, by the way, for outwitting the goat. I.e., we move the tire over slightly. That'll do. We fed him. He trusted us. Job done. So, George moving over. He's made the tash. Don't think I can't see you, Senor. Senor, please. I'm not armed. Good. My name. Now, when we speak to Old Man Jenkins, make sure to choose the friend option rather than the gun option. So, friend. I, Senor Marquez. Now choose our bald 603-year-old friend Marquez. Marquez no. He looks about 603 anyway. Very Mr. Burnsy. I know a lie when I hear one. Go now, or I shoot. Wait. Vingia. Do you understand? Try saying it and let's see. Ah, well, uh. Oh, why, well, hello, senorita. Anyway, choose the gun option. Again, sorry I went a bit quick, spamming the A button, but it's the gun option we chose first. And then the Eva option. Guns? Uh, no. I've got bruises in places that... Well, so leave. We're... Well, go... We were helping a man called Marquez in Paris. He is my father. I could see where... She... And then next up, we need to choose the painting. Lelma Lelma Dicio. Lelma Dicio. There it is. La Meladicio. Les Meladicio. Where did you get... 
in London. Hmm. Oh. You know, you sound just... Nico! What's going on, Ramon? Who's out? Some cra- Papa? These people want to talk. Eva, I thought- You, how did you find me? They were... We thought you were- You were wrong. They've brought you something, Papa. Can it? At last! Well, Signor Marquez? Indeed, but something interesting. The painting. It is diff the face in the middle. The one with the symbol of the. T How do you. A priest told me. Said it was the. Pa! Priests. Oh, really? Well, this. Fool. But you do. Yes. I was sure that Marquette... And now? I shall decipher that before she died, its meaning... And the root? So... I don't know. Was there something... No. Well, how? Senor, you must... He knows about Castel del San? I regret, Senor, that... Ah... I'll go. Shoot on sight. Well, Nico? You try and work out. I'll go and see if. Whether he knew it or not. Right then, so we've got quite a few things to do in Castel de Sants. Or Castel de Sants, huh? Is that, is that good? No, I don't know. Anyway, we go to. Click on the photo. Go into your inventory and get out the family photograph. Now, there needs to be two statues either side, and they need to be in specific locations. So, all we have to do is basically just go ahead and find the statues. So, we can back out of here. And the very first one is going to be on the left-hand side. Again, we don't need to uh, interact with the painting again. We know exactly what we need to do, and that is to grab the statues and put them on both of these plinths. So, you didn't need to do that, so sorry about that. But we're going to speak to Marquez before finding out the statues. And we're going to have a lot of conversation going on. As is the huge, these people seem to walk slow and talk even friggin' slower. If we're going to find the tabula... Yes? Yeah. Then you... Of course. I'm... So first things first, we're going to interact with the painting icon when it comes up. There it is, so choose painting. Tell me about the painting. Who are and what? I asked my father. Shit. And what we're going to choose is painting again. Senor, can you decipher the Tower of Saint and the sa the one you marked in the photo? She. There. Next up, we're going to choose Castel de Sens. When were you last here, Senor? Not. As I said. Next up, we're going to choose the, the tabula. Why is the tabula veritatis so important to the Gnostics? It, my answer. They brought. In any. And then for the next one, again, a lot of chang going on, but this time we're going to go to the bottom and choose the medallion. I think that. My medallion? Where? It was left in the. Do you want it back? No. You can It has a... And then next, we're going to choose Hobbes's sketch. Remember Hobbes, he is as dead as they come now, but we're going to, we've still got a sketch to keep his memory alive. Slightly. Plus, we've also got his whiskey to drink as well, so that'll keep the memory alive. After we forget about him when we get too drunk. Just as well. The fewer the... Next, go ahead and speak what about Marquez himself. Um, Ob Obviously. Next. 
control. And that's it. Now we can actually press the B button to back out. I accidentally uh, click on the tabular again. That was just a mistake. You don't need to ask him about it again. Now we can just back out. You could have asked about Eva and be like, Look, Marquez, I know we're after this painting, but is Eva single? Mwahaha. I am Johnny Bravo Chin after all. Right, so go to the left hand side and it's basically just underneath the Welsh Hunter sign, I think. There is the green statue. There it is. So right in the sort of bottom left hand corner is the green statue, so make sure to pick that one up. So we need to find two pieces of the green statue, two pieces of the blue statue, so go ahead and exit out of the door. And then directly where the cursor starts, underneath it is the broken green statue. So that's two out of two for that. My god, baby, we're frying. Okay, and I think... No, in fact, yeah, we're just going to go, I think we're just going to go outside now. So go to the right and head out of the right-hand side double doors. So, did it... I better get... Your... Not more of this Gnostic nonsense. So... Not a lot. Eva thinks her father's losing it. She's not... There she is, old beautiful Eva, and one of those girls that seems to be, you know, one of those ones that you don't know if she's going to shoot your bollocks off or she's going to give you a big kiss. It's one of those, <laughs> she's one of those girls, and I think a lot of people like that in a weird, sadistic kind of way. But still, anyway, enough about shooting your nuts off and giving you a kiss. Let us grab the two blue statues. One is to the right of us as we begin. And the next one is directly next to Eva anyway. So that's the two statues done. Try not to get too close to Eva. Like I said, you don't know if she's in the mood of smiley happy talk. Uh, interact with the sundial to the left of her as well. So you don't know if she's in the mood of shooting your nips off or if she is in the mood for just having a nice bit of friendly talk. By the looks of her, she looks like she's going to shoot your nose clean off. So we'll just leave her. We'll just go back inside now. And uh, I speak to Nico, but you don't have to. It's only like a short three dialogue thing anyway. Nothing really happens with Nico. But we do have to get the Marquez family photograph and put it on La Medicina de la Mesimo, the painting. My Spanish is starting to suffer a bit. Not that I had any good Spanish to begin with, but still, you get the picture. So, thanks, Nico. Very informative as always, Miss Gallard. Right. Back into your inventory. Now, what we don't have to do is actually put the photograph. Sorry, I completely forgot about this bit. We, we, for one, we just have to click on the painting. But all we have to do now is put the two broken statues on the plinths. We don't actually have to put the photograph on there just yet. So, ignore what I'm doing for now. I am being just King Mong, to be fair, right here. Uh, <laughs> so, we don't need to put the family photograph on. What we do need to do is grab the... Broken green statue, the bottom half, put it on the left plinth, and then interact with it once, twice, three times, and four times, and five times, and six times, and that should be good. So, so where the legs are basically pointing towards the picture, then grab the blue statue, put it on the plinth, then interact with it once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, six times each, job done. Now you should automatically get a clunk. A staircase. We might stare. Oh, George, George. Huh. A piece of burnt paper. That sounds. Wolfram. What do you know? Wolfram. So then, as Nico, what we're going to do is speak to the old, angry, angry old grumpy man. And uh, we're just going to interact with all dialogue options here. So just exhaust every little thing you can. They shot Xavier? Senor Marquez's father? I was... Why did they come? They were... This Kenan, who was? He was Swiss, a business. So what did he want here? 
I don't spend making his men. Did they fight? Who? And that the soldiers didn't stay. So you have lived all my life. In fact, that's not. Oh, the name Genan. He was the pal. A coincidence. So when this, I. Can I have a look at the library? No. Please. I lost. You lost? That is... I drank... The cellar... It was a long... That... I have... I needed to find... So what we can do now, we're going to our inventory. We are going to... Um... In fact, we're going to speak with Ramon once again, and then the library option should appear now. Um, after choosing the inventory, sorry. So, so with the library, we've got a bit more information from the grumpiest of Ramons. And we can finally just crack on and do some things, get a couple more achievements. So, head out the door. Again, please don't blow me tits off there either. I'm just trying to walk past. Just back to the car at the bottom of the screen. There we go. Lovely. Right, so uh, speak with and interact with the goat. And then what you should get is the best buddies achievement. Now, again, providing that you didn't lose the provenance earlier and you've done everything with George from earlier on, you should now definitely get the best buddies achievement. Good scanto. George has... I if it was Yes. We'd never get it caught. No. Or tear. Until next time. <laughs> Okay, so again, another slight delay on the achievement popping, but it should unlock. So we'll head to the car door. There it is. Let's just take a little, a little peeky inside, shall we? <laughs> Good strength, Miss Collard. Right, another missable achievement in this car before we move on. So go into your inventory. And eventually, there it is. So that is the um, best buddies achievement for talking with the goat. Again, <laughs> kind of a bit of a delay, but... Owl good. It's owl good. So, get your go into your inventory, get your pass card with chewing gum, and interact that with the radio. A bit of uh, dialogue is going to happen, but this is basically the uh, missable achievement. So you don't have to do much. Just have a listen, wondering what the hell's going on, and then we're good to go. I'd probably be a lawyer, you know, making lots of money. Of course, doing. Have you ever thought? Actually, uh, I have already. What? A puzzling, thrilling adventure with me. So again, a little bit of a delay on the achievement, so don't panic, but have a look at the pillow on the right-hand side underneath the steering wheel and pick up the book. Oh, hello, Ramon. We'll, we'll take this book. In fact, no, we won't, because the goat's going to smash that down his gullet now. Yeah, fat git. Although I can't see why. If I was a goat, I'd be chewing anything I can as well. So there that one goes. Right, interact with the tin can. Uh, the tin can key, make sure to interact with that. Because if you don't, you won't be able to interact with the wind chime in the next section. So, you have to actually interact with that tin can key. You'll get the local call achievement as well. So now from here, we can just nip past the goat. Cheers, buddy boy. Ready. And now let's ha head back to the fountain. So what we need to do is interact with the wind chimes, which is just past Eva on the left-hand side. Now, as long as you've got the magnifying glass, that is what we need. Um, but if you don't have the magnifying glass, if you only have the eye icon, go back to the car, interact with the tin can keys again, and then you should be able to get to this point of the game. So interact with the tin can key and then pick up the key itself, or the tin can, and then pick up the key itself, and that's where, for some reason, somebody decided to shove a key in it. I don't know why, but hey, this is Spain after all. It's 
still a hell of a lot better than the UK, so all good. So go through the door to the left, and we're going back through this door, uh, basically back outside of the garden. But now we can go in through the left-hand door. So inventory, get out your key, and put it with the library. Ramon had been right. So in the library, go ahead and look in the trunk. I think I mean trunk. Uh, yes, I do mean trunk. So go take a look in there. And we've got a couple of personal things that we're going to have a look at. The main, main important one is the map, though, which we're going to take a look at and decipher and decrypt. The map had interesting markings and script. Jean. So, what is this place? It is my... It's not like... And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars. From... Whoa! The Cathars were Gnostics. Sadly, it... Nevertheless, so it w the pain. So not a lot to do in this room. What we're going to do, of course, since it is just one room and we're stuck here for the minute, interact with statue on the right, and then interact with statue on the left, and then basically what we have to do is um, sort out some of the colours, and that's about it for this room. For an achievement, though, so all's well that ends well. The other is known by Lucifer. Lucifer? So, no. Drop. Just. Joe. Not. But what if. If Joe. Individual. And what if. Ambition and desire. So. so then. It was a glass. And. So interact with then the glass lens, which should be on top of both statues. And then what we're going to do is interact with the disc once. The color changed from, yellow. from yellow to green. Um, now there's going to be a little bit more dialogue, um, but you can, uh, you've got to uh, uh, open up the leather cover. That's what I was trying to get at. Um, so open up the leather cover there so that the green goes on. And then interact with the glass lens on the right. Yeah, we know. We know, damn it. So we drop with the glass lens on the right. <clears throat> Obviously, you, um, open up the leather cover so you can get some light on that boy. And then what's going to happen, we can go out. And we can uh, just interact with the fresco for the time being. The fresco was... My Latin was a little... Ex igne puritat. Ex lute. Ex labor. So the one on the left here, the glass lens is fine. We keep that one green as the day the grass decided to become green. Just whatever the hell that was. But on the right one, we're going to change the glass lens to blue. So interact with the glass lens. Then interact with the desk. Uh, the desk. It's going to go from yellow to green. Interact with it again. It's going to go from green to turquoise. And then this time when we interact with it, it's going to go from turquoise to blue. Now we can back out. And well, would you look at that? Interact with the uh, the fresco again. In fact, no. This time, sorry, we're going to get the safety matches and put them on the candelabrum. That's what we're going to do. We've already interacted with the fresco, of course. So matches on the candelabra. On the candelabra. Next up, go back into inventory, grab the medallion, put that on the candelabra. The candelabra. Amazing. The light is showing. The what? The sake from Montsegur across the mountains to... And which town is... I... But... But how does it bring us closer to the tabula? He tells us... I think that's all... You're right. Eva will be...
Okay, we found the route of the Bonzom Trail. How? Need my. Time. You got. Ramon is outside keeping. George, I'm glad you're safe. What did you find? There's a secret chapel above the fireplace. All laid out for... What? I'll tell you when we have more time. You know... And there we go then, so we get yet another achievement, we've done that bit, we're out of there. Marquez looks like he could do with a uh, Coca-Cola and some mints in his system. But, you know, get him right sorted out again. Right, before going through the door, this is how to solve the next puzzle. So interact with the shield, which is just on the left there. That particular shield. Then the one to the right of it, which reads Figueres. Figueres. My Spanish is disgustingly bad, sorry. Go to the left. And there's going to be a another two shields. So the one is just on the left, which reads... Oh, I missed that one. And the next one with the coat of arms. So basically the four on the left, which we need to be grabbing, if I can see. Sorry, my, my eyes and it's dark. But they are basically the four that we need to complete the puzzle in the next room. So interact with El Medicismol. Medicismilio. You know, I can't even remember what the hell it's called now, so I'm just making it up as I go along. The painting. Eva, go with him. I should. Have you. The gain. No. Get. Ah. You think. It's. Hmm. So, what's the plan you've uncovered? Take a look at. It's Ganon's map. He search the. You think he found? I don't. So what? See this? It's this. Yes. So. I. Maybe. So once again, then let us go in the tunk. I think I meant trunk, which I sure did. So you're going to interact with a hat just to pull that over. You're going to interact with the clothes as well. Just to move them out of the way. We don't. We don't need them. Get rid of the shirt. And there is something tucked under underneath the shirt, which we can see. And we're going to pick up that folded note. It was a telegram. I'm pregnant. Ha <laughs> ha. Up yours. Oh damn it. So go into your inventory and press the X button there on the telegram to examine it this time. And then what we need to do now. This will all be too familiar for you if you've played the uh, Crypto by Pogi and Pogi. Pogi 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 games, uh, but it's basically the exact same thing. So it's just a bit of an encryption uh, So if you would rather just if you want to follow along of course you're more than welcome to do that But if you'd rather just see the finished product go ahead and skip to 30620 That is where you'll see the finished product and you can go from there
I deciphered the the tabula veritatis was smuggled out of I have confirmed this it was so, so there we go and we don't need this so you can just interact with the oil cloth puts everything back in the chest because I wouldn't that looks unwashed for years and years and ah, we don't really want that so interact with the map on the table which the map is the key funnily enough I already know that and what we have to do is we just have to mark the four key locations Again, there's a puzzly way to do it, but I'm just going to tell you exactly what to click. So, first one, grab one of the pins from underneath, and then put it on to Biza. Or Burger, sorry, Burger. Remember, these are the shields that we remembered, uh, that we looked at in the previous room. This is where we need to go. So, the next one, put it up to uh, the very top one, which is Mentgar. I think, Menegar. God damn, I am sucky at reading and writing. Uh, anyway, grab another pin <laughs> and put that one on to this one, which is G Grenan? Grehan? Girona. Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry. It's Girona. There on the right. Grab another pin and put it on to Saint Ramon. Saint Ramon? Yeah, close enough. So I got closer with that one. So Saint Ramon, Borga, Girona, and the one at the top, which looks like meningitis or something. So, Montserrat, <laughs> Montserrat, Serrat. Whatever will be, will be. Oh, God damn, here's Henry Cavill. Come to shoot my pee-pee. No. Very good, Miss Collard. So, what happened to the real Langham? He went for a long swim in the Seine. Now, I was expecting to have to rip, but I do believe you. The tabula is at Montserrat. The old man. No, please, take me. And you do. But he is. Eva, hold your peace. You can't. Oh, but I can. He must be. And you. Not the devil. Now, if you don't. Come on. They can rot it. We have to get out of here. I assume. I'm afraid so, Eva. You know, Nico? Right then, time to get out of here now. So, interact with the bullet hole on the left. And, well, somehow we are good to go. The incredible good fortune that our slow-ass characters are having. It's a false door, Nico. So that's why Marquez's father tried to escape through here. He didn't have time to open the first door. Aha! Uh -huh. Great work, Georges. Come on, Eva. Let's go. We need to rescue your... Eva, I think you... Are you... Eva... Signora, you do not understand. Okay. Sure. Then we will go and kick some ass. Couldn't have put a better... Montserrat was way up in the mountains, but we went there as tourists. We had an old man to rescue, and standing in our... Why would the tabula be hidden up for hundreds of years? There's an old Benedict. Well, wow, it's empty. Where this? I don't like the look of it. At least it. Don't even go there, Nico. Time to. <laughs> it's. Here we are in Montserrat. Let's go down the stairs on the right-hand side. Right-hand side of the stairs. We're moving away from the monastery, but screw it, bruh. We're actually going down. Down to the left-hand side of the building. Of course, this is all automatic, by the way. You don't have to walk anywhere. Maybe there's some... Or at least... Some Someone 
is coming out. Quick, I think it's... Lock everything off. Lock the whole... The tabula... Yes. Close all... And then make the... Yes, boss. This time... Listen, I, I might be... Sure. We'll... You think she'll be okay? Either guy. So what we're going to do before going in, we're going to go to the left hand side and you're going to see this uh, telescope. And we've got a cable car which seems to be stuck. And there's also a glint, as in someone's stuck on there and we need to take a look at what it is. So, we need to go into the telescope, so we interact with that. This bit's quite funny. <laughs> see, it's funny. It's funny stuff and I like it. Right, uh, scroll using the right stick, and uh, what we need to do first is find a face on the statue. So, again, scroll just using the right stick, and go to the left and up slightly. And then you can examine that, and we can now have a look at Le Monticerio Le Small Dickio painting. I've seen that. The face in the Ouroboros. It's exactly the same shape as that rock. That can. And you know what? So the rock won't have. Nico, I, I think it's. Right, so we need to be uh, taking a look at the free telescope again. And that is how you get people to flock to your cities and everything. Make something free like a telescope or a big fat steak. <laughs> Delicious. Anyway, uh, interact with the telescope again. What we need to do now is basically. Go to the right to find the cable car, but for some reason, I st in fact, it's right, it's just it's just dead right. For some reason, I went right down and all around. Uh, we just need to find the two people on the cable car, and I'm having trouble doing that. Ah, there we go, so we get there eventually, look. Right, so, uh, interact with the, the glint. A couple of people stuck in there. It's actually some of George's friends. Remember all those swingers party we used to go to, Pearl? Yeah, we were, we were there. And Dwayne. Anyway, uh, you can interact with the cable runner at the top. Basically, they are stuck. And that's got to be a pretty scary thing, really, isn't it? That's got to be a st scary thing to be stuck that high up. So we can get out. Now you can go into your inventory and get out the side mirror that we got from the uh, Spanish car by the goat. Interact that with the glint. And um, basically, what we could do from here now is just go back onto the telescope. There's a lot of back and forth in this uh, little bit. And then interact with and examine her again. Pearl's writing something on the window, which basically means we can now go into the door. It said, help, stuck. The station door must have needed a... I wondered how... Pro Come on, Nico. Pearl's giving me the code of the... What? Trust me, Nico. I've got friends in low-hanging places. And again, luckily for us, then, there's no fight. <laughs> there is no fighting, thank God. Uh, but somebody has very scaredly locked themselves into the cupboard. So, first things first. We're going to interact with the cupboard. Again, we've got a few things to do before we can get Dwayne and Pearl, the swinging legends, out of the swinging cable car. Are you alright in there? Just go away. Uh, uh, wait, 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 please. And next, there is a talking lunchbox directly below you right there. So pick that one up. Again, sadly, it's just a walkie-talkie inside, so it's not going to make you rich and famous, George. So get that out of your head. Oh, Johnny Bravo chin. Uh, uh, wait, 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 please. I'm staying right. 
So, the main bit what we need to do is get the walkie-talkie out, so we can interact with the lever, which is basically going to get the gears on the right-hand side there, and that's going to start them going. Uh, so, interact with the lever, not the console. You don't actually have to interact with the console, which for some reason that's what I was going to do, but we don't do it. So, interact with the lever again. Come in, come in, we haven't got a day. We've got achievements to get and places to be. So that's going to start up the gear cogs anyway. Um, which is fine. So from here, what we can do is see the hatch, which is just behind, or technically it's in the forefront, I suppose, now, of the lever. Interact with El Hatch Oroni. The cons... The lock was too well made. So that one's opened up for later. What we're going to do now is, in your inventory, grab your lunchbox and put it on the cogs on the right-hand side. And we are... And yeah, yeah. We, with that hardcore, we're going to smash that open. So, pop, pop, the, pop the lunchbox down. The, box was now wedged in the, cogs. the giant can opener. Yeah, that's also a good one. That's a funny one. Interact with the lever again, and now that should pop that open, and we get the walkie-talkie. That's quite a mess you've made there, Georges. You know what they say about making omelets, Nico? You can So, interact with the lunchbox. Who puts a lunchbox down with no goddamn sandwiches in it? Or at least some chicken tikka slices or something delicious? No. They just put a freaking walkie-talkie in it and locked it. That's... <sighs> it's disappointing. Anyway, we're talking to our old swinging friends. Duane. Mr. Pipe. George, this is Pearl. Cat. Is she... Has she lost... So now slap your inventory back out and then just put the radio next to the door and they're going to start chatting some kind of crap. I don't know what, but anyway, it helps Cat get out of the cupboard. Come on, Cat, time for you to get out the closet. I, I'm not in here, though. Now I'm trapped in the closet. So I pull out my gun. Tell Cat to come out the closet before I shoot someone. And if anybody knows what that's from, then I will give you three pounds. For math, uh, I'm very good in integral and differential calculus. I, in short, in I am the very. All right, honey, Pearl. Who are you? I'm George, and this. There were some guys with guns. We're trying to. I was quite surprised, you know. Really. Uh, yeah, if the console was... And there's no way... Mm, then... See that burned out fuse down there? In the back by the... Pro yeah, the idiots stuck a spanner in there and blew the fuse. They wanted to make sure... Connect those two prongs up. What oh, cat? I'm British, I am! Luckily, my name's not Prince Andrew, and I don't pay 12 million to prove that stuff that I didn't already apparently do. Um, but, yeah, which obviously proves that I didn't do it, because I paid off 12 million pounds. But, right, anyway, enough of whatever the hell I was on about there. Dissing Prince Andrew, the nonce. Go over to the cogs on the right-hand side. <laughs> Get out your paper clip and jam it. Stick that tiny little thing you've got and just shove it in and see where it goes. And then what we can do from there is go to the left-hand side and back to the hatch. And then, it's all for a good reason. You stick your hand in your, you're going to get electrocuted to death and breath. So, uh, pick up the matchbox containing the cockroach, which of course we got a lot earlier in the game. 
and place that down in front of you. Next, um, go back into your inventory and get out the sticky paper clip, which we should now have by jamming that in the cogs. Trevor, that's a good name for a good name for a cockroach, Trevor. Right now, get the tea biscuits and put it in between the prongs, right at the very back. Again, great shot there from George Georgie Bravo. And the cockroach is going to go all the way down and, well, he doesn't meet his end per se, but, I mean, he does get the <laughs> he does get the shock of his life. Well, time to come out then, Trev. Thanks very much, though. But that gets the hatch working, and now we can save Poyle and Dwayne, and we can continue on with what we were doing back in America, which nobody knows about, right? The console. Let me just bring the cable car up. Pearl and... Oh, they must have been going... Come on, Nico. As we got close, it was definitely the same as the face in the painting, but with one difference. Well? Hmm, but... Let's have a look around. George! You're right. I wonder, how old do you think the chapel is? I'm guessing the exterior, but the inside? You think somehow the attic? <laughs> hey, look! Come on, honey bun. Things ain't that bad. You just today's, but the money we got st and now this. Oh, I sw this was supposed to be, but the only. So they went from real happy to be stuck in the cable car to being all upset and pissed off because spiritual something or other. Right, first thing we're going to do, pick up the wood shavings directly in front of us. Although it doesn't look like the most spiritual place at all. Uh, so again, pick up another couple of wood shavings. You'll have to interact with that twice in order to pick some up. And there we go. We're basically making a super strong potpourri. So go into your inventory. And then what we're going to do from here is go to the wood shavings and put them with the flowers. So the wood shavings and the flowers. Potpourri, Potpourri you can't beat it unless it's really strong and it gets right in your back of your throat. Anyway, grab the potpourri and then put it over to the Eau de Toilette. <laughs> spray breath, that's probably not nice. So we're basically using dead guy's spray to make a nice strong potpourri. Delicious. Okay. Now that one is done, that basically gets us the achievement, the supercharged potpourri achievement, so you can't beat it. Uh, apparently we made Pearl nearly faint, but she, she, I don't think she's noticing, in all fairness. And Dwayne, Dwayne just looks like the kind of man to go and get a 20-year-old stud for his wife while he just sits there. Uh, going, oh, go on dear, you're doing fantastic. <laughs> anyway, speak to Dwayne about Dwayne. Well, there was that little sideshow in Rome. I do? Why? Top. Need to know, Nico. Dwayne is, uh, uh, snoozer. Don't you? No way, honey. A snoozer. Uh, uh, so I hear. Anyway. Nicole Cola. Well, how's about that? No wonder you've been. God. It's lovely to finally. George has. Oh, call me Dwayne. Everything you've heard. Dwayne was loud, large, and short sighted. Is there anything we can do for Pearl? Yeah, I sure. She's been. Pl and Santa. Not a. Th oh. She sent. <gasps> so, what brings you to Santa? <laughs> Ever. Gotta be. Got to have. Well, I'm sh <laughs> If the chapel... 
Hot dog, no. You said she exp... No, oh, that's... Pilgrimages, little... Smells, bears, and... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh, ex There, there, dear. Pearl could be a my... If we could just... Oh, there, there, dear. Right, speak to Due Duane again. Hey, George. Yeah, how's that monster of yours? Ask him about the whistling. Uh, so basically, we, we aren't going to help Pearl out. She's a she's a good egg. She's a good egg with a rocking body. So we're going to help sort old Pearly Bobs out. So we're going to press the B button. Or I can't remember if that bit happens automatically. If we press the B button. But th for some reason... Dear, 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 you sound like Snoopy a little bit. <laughs> right, interact with the toolbox uh, towards the door at the back next to all the scaffolding and interact with it again. And that's going to pick up the hammer. Now pick up the turpentine on the left-hand side. And there she blows. And now what we could do is go into our inventory, I believe. Uh, no, we're going to interact with the scaffold first. Sorry, so interact with the scaffold uh, just to get everything a little bit loose, a little bit loosey goosey. Now we can go into our inventory, get the bottle of turpentine, and put it in the right hand side paint tin. So there's two paint tins there that we're going to be using. So put the turpentine in the right hand side one. Pretty sure that's the only one we can do. And then what we're going to do is go into our inventory, get out the mason's hammer again, and now we have to play a specific tune. So, interact with the oil drum first. So I did edit it down because I actually messed up first. But just press the A button once. Don't press it twice because you'll mess it up. So then choose the right painting, the one with the turpentine in it. Next, you're going to choose the oil drum again. By the way, there will be a little bit of a thing where Nico comes over and asks what you're doing. But I edited that bit out because I bolted it up. So, oil drum again. And next, we can choose the um, fire extinguisher to the bottom right of us. Again, make sure to press it only once, because if you press it twice, you accidentally mess up. And then the painting directly above us. And then the uh, oil drum again, seemingly. So that's the one. It may be that it's in a particular order. I think it actually starts with... One of the um, paintings at the top. Um, but again, sadly, I was a bit of a moron and messed it up. But that if you just copy the exact way I did there anyway, it works. <laughs> it works fine anyway. So we got Nico doing that. So Pearl's been all like, well, this reminds me of my younger days. Back before OnlyFans was a thing. When we had to do it in magazines and had to do it in the yellow pages and stuff. Uh, yep. Sorry, sorry. Moving on. So... <laughs> Nico's got that bit. Happy days. We've done the purple eat. We've done that bit. Now what we can do is go to the left. And then just interact with the crank handle, which should be directly by us now. And she blows. Right, get out the uh, matches and then in inter interact that with the candle bra. I lit the candles. Next, go back into your inventory, get the side mirror out and use that I with the candle the bra. Now back into your inventory, go ahead, use the yarn, put that with the candle bra and the side mirror. And then next, use the super potpourri and put that in with the candle bra, the super mirror. And now we can use, uh, oh, sorry, no, put that in the builder's mug, sorry, apologies. Put the super potpourri in the builder's mug on the left hand side. There you go. And now we can use the safety matches with the builder's mug as well. And it starts getting nice and aromarotic. Now we can put the crank handle back up. Now that was something. Wait. Pumpkin? Oh. What? The sound of angels, the lights, the smell, and yes, the Madonna. I don't 
My precious, you're such a sensitive soul. Well, I feel my... We can get on... Just enough. Pearl is back. Mrs. Henderson. George. Now Pearl's gonna say, I've seen a miracle, George. I didn't realize Viagra was so cheap for my Dwayne here, who's in sandals and socks, god damn. Right, interact and ask her about the Black Madonna. It's basically as if Madonna now went, instead of doing risque um, poses, she went for something entirely different for shock value. Uh, inter ask her about the Santa Cova <laughs> next. Madonna, even though at 103 years old, is still trying to pull off things that... She should probably just just lie down and enjoy your retirement, hun. You know, stop trying to sh shock us all. Right, get Hobbs sketch out next. Oh, can you? <laughs> what? You? you uh, that's Pearl. New then something special. Well, that the workman among. But that. Oh, it was con. Sweet. The road you and lot. Tis the pill. It was. And we're not. Take this radio. Uh, keep... Poor little. I'm not. Don't worry. This little lamb's in safe hand. Bon voyage. Bye. See ya. Nico? Little. Let's focus. Okay. This or. You're right. We and this is what we've got to do. Go over to the left hand side on the altar, get the mason's hammer out, and then smash the altar to pieces. Now again, if we'd have just done this in the first place, we could have saved a whole bunch of minutes and a whole bunch of hours on a playthrough, but you know, Detectives don't think like that. They gotta do detective work first. Which apparently makes them detectives, so I'll give them that one. So all this time the Aurora Boros was just underneath chilling underneath Black Madonna. Fair enough. I wonder I don't know why nobody had thought to look in there before. But there we go. So next we're going all the way to the right hand side to where Pearl and Dwayne, the I mean, the absolute Chad that was Dwayne with his sandals and socks and dear, 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 Snoopy voice. But we are going to grab just one candle. One candle. Make sure it's, um, <laughs> make sure you've blown that out before sticking that in your pocket because you are going to get burnt slightly. Straight on the nip, apparently, if uh, you've just put it in your jacket pocket like George. Right, uh, get the candle out from your inventory and then put that in the recess. In the recess. Is it called? Is that recess or recess? What, whatever it is, it's going there. Now grab the um, your safety matches, and of course use that with the recess. What was that noise? Nah, 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 nah. Right, interact with the Aurora Boris. Aurora Boris. I knew it. Um. Oh, wow, lots of secret passageways in here. And then when we're done, we can just nip ourselves straight in. Of course not. Just. Oh, this is warm. <sighs> it's oh, I'm sure. Now we panic. Hey! I gotta say, traveling with you, George, I've got used to the if I. You're right. You see if you can get the door open. Dark, evil smelling cave. So now we need to be pretty hardcore. And, uh, you know, th we, we need to be threatening. So, 
After the dialogue's done, go into your inventory, get the mason's hammer out, and then look for something in the top corner, which is called Figment of the Imagination. And so, of course, it, it, it makes you feel like a big man. Next, you need to get your hammer back out. So go back in your inventory, get your mason's hammer out, and then find something in the top right-hand corner. Not big thing. It's called the Imaginary Molochus Denizen. There it is. So I'll pick that one out. And now we're going for a... I think potentially missable achievement. Go to the bottom and you'll find something at the right there called Bottomless Pit. So interact with that a couple of times. And that is a achievement that we can get. Again, not sure if it's missable or not. I think it is actually. So just make sure to grab that one before we can move on. Using Langham. And then finally, into our inventory. The achievement should unlock for us now. There it is. So we need to grab the only match that we've got. Welcome to the Dreamer Orium. And on the right hand side is the stone object. So you need to do that one twice. So go back into your inventory from here. And then smash the match with the stone object. And we found a completely awesome secret passageway. Once again, complete with dead body. Nice. It must be getting. Ramon said he So this And on Okay, George, I What is this? Who knows? You're right. It looks like What do you The red robes and It must be Mary Mag This place This got But if it was that I Right, let's go take a look at the table, shall we? Let's see what dead body we're dealing with this time. In fact, as you can see there, that is the one thing we've been looking through for the through the entire game, is the tibula fibula cardboard box. Tibula fibula cardboard box. So pick up the artifact, and that is the tibula. That, or tabula. Sorry, not tibula. Tabula fabula cardboard box. So that's what we're looking for. That's what we've got. But again, we've got a couple of things to do. We still need to get out of here for now. So pick up the photograph, which is under dead bodiness. Genin. And we also get the truth to the grave. We do have one more puzzle to do. Um, which, it, it, it involves all of those symbols right there. And we can pick up the uh, uh, the map from underneath the arms of El Corpso. The key to the I die secure in the... Tell my family that I... In the light of the day, but rest assured... So, once we've read that, go out and go into Genin's map, and then put it on the filigree frame. And then all we have to do is, um, I'm not sure again if you have to do this in a particular order, but I just start off with uh, choosing the letter E. So, choose am letter E. So basically I just go E, D, which is to the left of that, and then A, which is to the left of that, and then B, and then O on the right hand side. So again, not sure if you have to do it in that particular order, or if it just makes no difference. That's what we do anyway. But now we're going to start coming up to the puzzle. <laughs> so, back into our inventory again, and get out the tabula fabula and put it with Genin's photograph. Now, this is what we have to do. Basically, you have to keep having a look at Genin's map, having a look at the letter, and um, picking the same word that corresponds with the symbol. But of course, we're basically not going to do that, because I'm just going to show you exactly what to do. So the easiest way that I found to do this is to basically just go from left to right. So we're going to do the top row first and go from left to right. Um, I just found it easier instead of trying to pick each different ones right there. It's just way easier. So the first one, which is kind of like a side cross, choose the word begin. And then with the second one, so what's going to happen is for every word you do, it's going to get a word on the top and at the bottom, as you'll be able to see. So... Um, go down and scroll over to the second page and type in Sun City. So as you can see, begin Sun City. Now when we click the third symbol, we need to choose the third word, which uh, will again go to the left of begin, which we need to choose travel. 
So it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, the first word, second word, third word, fourth word, etc. So now that I've kind of given an explanation of what to do, if you want to just skip to 343.45, you will see the end product and you can just go from there. Or if you want to follow along, of course, you can still do that, whichever you prefer, my friends. That was the first row of symbols. It was all starting to... So, these are directions. Begin at Sun City, travel south six... Hey, Nico! I've cracked it! Fun! Take a look at this map. The inscription says to gain and hid the location in his map. It then, then turned to the sword. And what is... I'm not sure. Right. And... You have? Look, while you are Job done, baby boys. We are flying as high as a big chunky pie. So this is we're basically just coming up to the last puzzle now. Again, this bit seems kind of stretched out, to be honest. Um, just a case of, like, well, it needs to keep going. Let's just keep the game going. But this bit is a bit boring. It's very drawn out. So what we need to do is interact with the lamp on the right-hand side before we put the medallion on the right hand side lamp by dead bodiness. You actually need to interact with it first, as is the huge. So we interact with the lamp, and now what we can do is go into our inventory, grab the medallion, and we're gonna put it at the very top of the frame. So we'll do that first. And then what we have to do is interact with the statue a couple of times, just to the right of Nico. You need to interact with that a few times until you hear a click in order to press that particular button. So, we're getting there. We're, we're almost there. Game, The game's end is coming up. So, interact with the statue here. And what we need to do then is interact with it just the one time to begin with then. So, after this dialogue, interact with the statue once and then go over to where Nico is and click the secret button. That's the first bit done. Well. Oh. Yeah. So, the... I guess so. I gave the statue a push, and it turned anti-clockwise. That's a So, we've just got to do this two more times now. Go back over to the lamp. And we need to take the medallion out. Again, this would be great if George could just sprint a bit faster, the lazy douchebag. Anyway, grab the medallion. 
go back into your inventory, grab the medallion, and then put the medallion in the right, bottom right corner of the frame. There we go. <laughs> and now what we need to do is go back to the statue and interact with that two times. So interact with the statue twice, and then go to where Nico is, and click the button, secret button again. And then we have to just do this one more friggin' time, thankfully. That sounded like... Okay, so after doing all that then, we're going to pick up the medallion, go put it back in our inventory, go into our inventory, pick up the medallion, put it on the left-hand side frame this time, which should point now down at the floor, interact with the statue just once, click the secret button, and that's our ticket out of this hellhole. Oh yeah. Is that the door? There could have been... It is... Come on, Jo. But just before leaving, go back to the table, make sure to pick up the medallion, because that is going to make you Am's rich boys. Um, but actually, we do pick up the pistol, and we pick up the pistol automatically anyway. Uh, you can take Genin's clothes if you want, but they look a bit worse for wear. So just pick up the medallion. You don't need his hat either. And then we can get the hell out of the exit. Find Eva and make our getaway. Don't die. Jules, eat. Stay back. For the last time. You're not. It's here. Just tell. I will. Look at your Stay back, we've got a gun! He doesn't know it's a banana in my pocket. Or, <laughs> or am I just pleased to see him? Or is that pleased to see Eva? Anyway, get out the revolver, give it to... Stop talking, goddammit. Mr. Marquez, shut your pie hole. And so eventually we can get to the point where we can whip out your revolver, stick it on uh, Lancome, old Henry Cavill, I don't know why it's Henry Cavill, I think he just looked, I think he'd look, uh, he'd suit the role perfectly. Until it all goes peaks up. Cocks up. Peak tongue. Even if... Because... For God's sake. Yes, go on. Don't put... That gun would never fire. Give me the gun. I didn't rate my... Now, apparently this bit doesn't matter. If you choose to lie to him, he eventually just asks you to tell the truth, so you've got to tell the truth anyway. So, <laughs> there's nothing that you can do wrong here. I give you my word. No, Joe. So, the tabula veritatis. Actually, I will need to take the girl. No, I'm staying. My father needs a m Oh. Problem solved. Lagom, you. What? Lucy. You can't destroy. I can. And I will. Bring the girl. But you. She may be a. One of my men. If they try to follow me, shoot. It would be my. Eva. Uh... We don't even... All we know is that it's... Now that... There was... And we... Can you... You know it... In... Where... He... The God... No... It's where Jehovah created life. Where Lucifer gave Eve knowledge. Where the gods are held in balance. 
And now Langham has the tabula to lead him right to it. Only you can stop him. You must de- But how- Eva. He'd gone, but I knew he was right. We had to- Whoopsie daisy, so that's the end of Marcus. So after all of that, driving and catching a plane and everything and going everywhere in his 203 year old state, he ends up just getting shot anyway. And again, the sympathy, the sympathy from George and Nico is literally bar to actually literally none. So now we need to get out of here. There is a guard in the way, so we need to go outside onto the balcony. And like you, Mr. Marquez, you die doing what you loved, running away. Uh, head down the train pipe, and we basically need to go down. So that's where we're going. Head down, 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 south, down into Brown Town, down into Brown Town. Okay. Now what we can do is get the radio, uh, the radio, and put it in the drain just underneath. Hey, Roger. I'm gonna play. give me a. Got it. I carefully be There's a job, the good then. So let's we're gonna climb up and then what we're gonna do is well the um the, the, the card's gonna come down. Get out your mason's hammer very quickly. I don't think it's it's not a time section, only there's a time sections, but just do it as quick as you can in it. And then as soon as the guard gets down, get your hammer ready, and then we can plop it on his head. Whoops. Okay, well, all right, well, I messed that one up. Get your hammer back out, and then put it with the guard. And then... Kablamo! Imagine if we missed that shot. Well, that would have been awkward, wouldn't it? But we've knocked him out. We're all good. So now we can go back into the entrance, and then out th through to the side. Nico, let's get out of here. What did you do to- Uh, those st- Nico, look. You don't think perhaps oh, we... now. Okay, so we're getting there. We're slowly getting there now. But we are on the stuck <laughs> we're on the, the cable card. So get out the yarn. Interact that with the door and George is gonna sully his way in. It's a little stuck. Just give me a second. Just hurry up! Nico! So... I've... La Maledicción. Gesundheit. Don't play again. You know, I wouldn't give... A fine sentiment, but again, you. St well, that was just one hundred and fifty. Wow. Ah, uh, enough of your. You will tell me where to find. Ah, Mr. Putin Matovsky, what are you doing here? Right. So we've got a little bit to do. How do we get out of this? And how do we get out of not dying? Well, we got Harry Shearer right there. Alan Shearer. Uh, you know, the, the worst of the Shia brothers. So, interact with him. Basically, we've got to um, appeal to his decent side. So, I don't know if he's got a decent side. Although, then again, he's got a nice bandage on his head. So, I love the way he just chills with the gun there. He's, 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 he's pretty hardcore. But, like I said, we're going to choose some specific dialogue options now. 
in order to, um, well, get out and not die, basically. So again, I'm not sure if this is um, missable, because I think you can if you wanted to just exhaust all the dialogue options. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to. But just following the same ones that I do here, uh, Shears is going to be the first one. So if you just follow along, it's basically just the quickest way to get out of this. Next, choose Shears again, right there. Now, go to the right and choose Chelsea, which is just disgusting, to be honest. Although then again, he'd have been laughed at if he supported Man United, especially these days, like, like I do. It's a depressing time to be a Man United fan. When uh, Choose Topiary on the right-hand side, by the way. So yeah, depressing time to be a United fan when the 300,000 a week, 300,000 pound a week players cannot play football. Next, choose free will, which should already be on there. <laughs> 300 grand a week and they can't score a goal. Congratulations. I thought my nan could do a better job for Man United at the minute. I think I'll put a forward. Right, next, choose determinism. You're a determinist. At least I... Of course, I do. So, you chose to leap off? Yes, because you and Madovsky shot at me. You did cho Well, yes, but I didn't... Next, we're going to be choosing Henri. So, big Enners, mate. Big Henry on the right. I intended to kill him. I just wanted to rough him up a little. But the gun went off and the rest is history. Free will. But the fact he died was an accident. Hmm. So next, we'll be able to choose Redemption on the bottom. Redemption, you mean? Then yes, I see. And you know what? No. I'm getting... I think I... Of course, it might... Uh. I think you're... The out... I'm... Boss! Boss! What is it you're in? How many times have I told you? Remember what we agreed. And I am the li- <laughs> exactly. Hmm. Well, don't let me stop. If you say- <laughs> Oh. Oh, dear. There you go. Free- Now that- And then hilariously, after just talking to him, he ends up shooting Putin. It's that easy, apparently. So, um, yeah. I mean, if I were you, I wouldn't go shooting the real Vladimir well, Putin in real life. Maybe just stick to video games so you don't end up, you know, getting killed and shot and stuff. It's, it's a bit of a minor inconvenience being dead. We had a Nothing that... <coughs> yeah, they're, they're not really broken. More in the... Uh... It's a What's no We fire <laughs> So Well True Mesopotamia Need a lift I I'm not talking lip won't be the f oh. how about it the last hello anybody there what happened to the light is whoa is this but guys Lucifer, I don't listen. Here's a no. Look. Whoa. I'm not sub. I'm back. Uh. Hey. Uh. No. I were best forger in the. And I gladly die. Whoa, 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 fell. My dream. That seems to me that what you and I need I was nonsense. 
don't listen to maintain the but you have the answer in your in my Josh? Josh? You were dream. I. When. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your. I hope you've had the temperature in Eden, which you'll be landing on a. which you will find is a. fasten your seat. Finally, may I take this. We do hope. Come on, I think we're near. Wait, Jeff. I think she. <sighs> um, um, cream crack it. You go on. We ah, guys. So we do literally have about 14, 15 minutes left of the game now. This is the final small little area that we can finally have to do. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right. So the point in the majority of this bit is there's a couple of guards that we need to get rid of to the left. And in the end, it's just a case of hilariously messing about. But I know at this point, for whatever reason, these characters get even bloody slower. So you sort of just okay. click in and then wait in and then wait in and then you age by about three days. So interact with the figs just <laughs> above the goat. And then nip it to the left. So let's go left. Again, a, a very small area and then one more small area in the cave that we have to do. I think God damn. And then what we're going to see is Madovsky's guards just chilling. Or Langham's guards even, sorry. But where's Langham? Psst. Whoa. Do you think? Don't know. I'm Job done. Let's give him a oh, All right. Like you said. Thirty We need to get past Tricky. Besides, I've given up Miss Collard is one day at Oh, that's great. I guess we're gonna have to find a Right, sometimes if you're stuck in a situation like this, the only way we can do is find the back of the truck where apparently there are no other guards because they're all just chilling down there and just steal all the weapons because of course that is what you'd normally do. <laughs> you'd park it right where there are a bunch of rocks and you can't see it so somebody could just steal all your weapons. Good stuff. So pick it up, interact with it twice so you actually pick up the bag. Nyapsack. And then go all the way back down to Alan Shears. So there we are, whap your nappy out, whap your sack out, and stick it into Shear's face. <laughs> you can explode in Shear's face as well if you want to. <laughs> uh, but he, he, he's going to be delighted. Right, we're still talking about weapons, by the way. Um, 
We're not exploding in his face, and he's not saying hello, my darlings, to anything else. So basically what we're going to do is just pick everything up. Um, there is a lighter in the back as well. I forget to pick up now, but we do pick up in just a second after we mess around with the goats and more. So we'll just pick everything out for now. If you can't repair something with duct tape... What's that? Sounds... It is. What on... Earth? Careful! It could be any... Oh, it could be... Yeah, I... So, let's make some mother money. Right, grab the dynamite and put that with the fuse wire. I don't actually think... I don't... I'm not sure if he actually does it. Oh, yeah, no. So, yeah, yeah, he does do it. Um, but the next thing we're going to do is grab the fuse wire and put it with the sausage. Delicious! But, of course, it's not delicious. We are going to be doing something to scare off these... Uh, I mean, they look... The, the homies are quite chilled right there. So, she has lots of good sausage and a good explosion in his face. <laughs> right, we're going to go to the right this time. Oh, come on, George. We haven't got a day, bro. We've got places to be, mate. We're going to get grab the pin sausage and we're going to put it onto the goat. Nico, a hand. I hope you trust me. A hold. Why have you attached the sausage to donor? That's phase one. Now watch as. If it's a. I had a fake piece. Phase one of my plan. Now I just. Right, so now let's walk all the way over to the left. Basically, what we need to do now is throw three figs in order to get the goat to go all the way over there. But um, grab the knapsack contents again and um, pick up the lighter, which we forgot about earlier on. So pick the petrol lighter up from here. There we go. So as long as you get everything, there you go. George should have, should have said, I took it. I got all the help that I need. Uh, so again, a bit of a pain in the ass there. Sorry about that. Going back and forth because again... George, <laughs> George is about as fast as a hundred year old lady baby. Right, grab the lighter and interact that one with the goat. That should do the trick. <laughs> and go back to the left. Oh, I am sorry about that, guys. Uh, missing that one out. Right, all the way to the left, back to where Alan Shears is. And now what we can do is get the handful of figs. We're going to throw one at Langham's henchman. And then what you need to do as well, there's going to be a bit of an edit because I did uh, balls this one up. You need to throw one at the henchman and then throw one at the bottom of the stairs to the right as well. So do not walk down there. Do not press that you're going to walk down there. Get out another bottom or uh, another handful of figs. And there it is. And then, so again, apologies about the edit. Bit, bit crappy there. So throw a fig at the bottom of the path. And for some reason, George walks all the way up. And then when we need to throw a fig at the top of the path, he walks all the way down to the goat instead of just placing it there. But, yeah, so there we go. It's, it's an incredibly long process. I'm sure by now everyone is just B-O-R-E-D-H-E. Bored here. Right, so now we grab a handful of figs and put it on the path. So you should have one on the henchman, one on the bottom of the path, one on the path. George starts doing the incredibly slow walk down. He's probably knackered. We're all knackered, mate. Come on. Forget shit. Why doesn't he just place it? Like, in reality, you're going to throw something uphill. It's going to start falling back downhill, isn't it? Anyway, Ghost's going to go for it. <laughs> the henchmen are going to crap themselves because they think the goat's got a bomb. <laughs> we, we are free to go.
cry havoc and let slip the goats of war. Oh, hello, Goaty. <laughs> oh, uh, fellas, what's he got round his neck? Looks like. Oh my God, Scarpa! Langham's guards must have been spooked. So, in the... It look... Hi, I tight spaces. Why don't I stay here? I do actually wonder where they went, though. They've literally just left Langham behind, and they've left the jeep. Or did, or did they? I can't remember. Anyway, get the lighter, go into the dark hole. I don't know, because you need to see where you're going in the dark. If you did, anyone's mother ever ever used to say, "If you eat your carrots, you can see in the dark," or was that just was that just a whole British typical growing up in the nineties kind of thing? I'm not I'm not sure. So Nico has a shout at, shout at us for going to go in with dynamite to explode it all. Sadly, we can't do that, so we're going to put the lighter through the dark hole again, and we're going to end up in there. And we're literally just a couple of minutes away. Not a lot to do in this room, and that is finally the end of the game done. Wow. This place is extra... You think... Well, it is... Think twice. Look. And... He's got Eva. Whatever he's up to. I hope... Look. The altar. It's the shape of the tap. We have to get across... So if you want to take a look at the, uh, it's called the dead bush, which should be to the right of us, or the sort of left of us there, if you're looking on screen. Now we can put the lighter on the dead bush. And all we're after is just a ladder to grab the other side. For some reason, Langham, even though he's got all these powers, has not seen us, which, again, comes in handy. Not to be seen, even though we're literally starting fires. Well, I hope it works. Right, next, go ahead and grab the um, Eur de Toilette and... Put that on the dead bush as well. A lot of dead bush in this game. Not good. And then what that's going to do is collapse a ladder or something. And we can now climb across. It is a ladder. Random ladder. So climb across. We can now jump to the other side. You! Don't you ever give up! But you're too Do some- He's crap. No! And for this dialogue option, choose the tabula. tabula. What are they gonna do with the tabula? He upon Lucifer. You'll destroy us all- Ha! But soon. You can't- No! To real, but this isn't the. Where do? You How a. George. Okay, homo. Nah, bro, you can't be doing that joy to Jaws. So as Nico, we're going to go to the other side. So leave it up to the journalist to save the day, by the way. Well, and George, he didn't even put up a fight then. Jesus. I mean, he could have at least come in with like a Nico, knife and you must sliced his knee off or sliced his yeah. cockle off or something. I don't know. Uh, but apparently uh, that's not quite far in the detective's mind. So uh, all we're going to do I is just one more thing and yeah. it's the end of the game. And that is, go into your inventory, get out the TNT, the big one, and then put it inside the large crack. Yeah. And then that will basically be the end of the game. Big cutscene. Cutscene does take a couple of minutes. Again, I skip it, though. Um, but basically, everyone's happy and everyone survives, I, I assume. George is swimming in clouds, blah, 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 job done. But there we go. That's it, then, guys and gals. So, again, may take a minute or two to unlock this final achievement but that is finally the end of broken sword 5 the serpent's curse 
I am hoping for a Broken Sword 6, but as of yet, since this was out in 2015, um, I'm not I'm not getting hope. <laughs> not, not getting my hopes up for that one just yet. We should have now 33 out of 33 achievements, and there we go. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and the guide. I really hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Don't forget to check me on my socials as well. Facebook, Twitter, Patreon, Instagram, all of that. Again, big huge shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. And for everyone who interacts with me on the daily. You guys and gals are legends. And there we go then, guys and gals. So, nice free game for you. Enjoy it. I shall see you in the next one. Big love. Oh, and the achievement finally pissing unlocked then. Happy days. <laughs> right. Big love, babies.